And he does eventually fold. Good fold. JRP tells him a good fold. But he doesn't fold before losing $218,000 to JRP. I looked at the amount of tickets. Money's on the table, my friend. Huh? He's on the table. You have more, you fold, right? Sorry? You have more, you fold? Uh, I don't think so, because like, you, 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 you don't have a queen jack. You mean yeah. stand up? Mean Maybe, I don't, I don't know. know, I can't fold when I bet 175. Yeah, like, yeah I, just, I actually thought he would fold 10 jack on the flop. In that situation, you just say yes. What are you going to do? You can't fold. You'd love to see it. A pure coin flip. Uh-oh. How much is that? 450. Easy call. Once or twice? You have a can? Yeah. One can? Two. You have 2K? Is that no good? It's good, obviously. 893K pot. Buddy, it's our money. We're going three times. Twice, twice. We're going three times. Twice, go, twice. Stop. It's our money. We're going three times. Wait. There's no ruling. It's our money. We're going three times. Huh? Yes, he wanted it, and I agree. Louis, I think we should let Matt, we, we said we are good with you. Three, guys, three, 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 three. Okay, you guys can run it three times. Chill. I hope he gets one. I'm adding a million Oh, adding, Ben. I love it. Love it. Empty that thing out. What the fuck is going on in that bag? Can I get one of them bags? Brian, give me a bag. What the fuck brand is that bag? It's a bottomless pit of fucking shit. Okay, pulling out Monopoly money. Can you, can we, do you, you want to like, get an exact count of JLB shit? <laughs> I'll do it for you. 500. Hey buddy, stay off my stack. One minute. Uh, mind your business. One, one, two, three. Huh? What is exactly? Is that proper etiquette? Is that proper etiquette? Is that proper etiquette? One, two, eight, five. Ben's on tilt. You guys me down like and I'm here for it. Adding 1.5 million over bet. Make the best fold of my life ever here. With a straighter of flush. Wow, Rob is not raising. It's considering folding. This would be fantastic. Best fold of my life. Just I, the I, idea of folding is absurd. 83. Hey. How do I not win infinite in this hand? Like, this guy is so disrespectful. That's what he said, right? The hands that 420. would probably weird. fold. Call a clock on the turn. It's a thousand big blind deep pot. Someone's calling the clock on the turn. Wesley catching up on some sleep. Durr. What are we doing? Oh, oh, you in. I know I win, probably. Uh-oh. It's just if I'm shoving or not. It's if I shove the river or not. I'm never folding. It's if I shove the river or not. Do I shove or not? No, it's pretty close. It's definitely close. Pretty close. These two used to have beef, Doug and Tom. Okay. Wesley, you're okay. If I thought you fucked There's two combos. There's six, seven, two, the king, six, two. Yeah. They fold in? Yeah. Let's go. All right, I'm back in the mix. <laughs> Who is this guy? Did you three bet? Yeah. I guess I guess now we know how to. Let's go. Let's go. Who's left? Just these two? Hands? Oh, that's not cool. Guess what? Yeah, oh, the trap was set. However, Rob slithered his way out of it. See how red Tom Blanc's face is there. Really frustrated. Annoyed. <laughs> Can't even look at him. Guys up like three million. This <laughs> is one pot. <laughs> He looks like he's. Oh, he looks like. One bread. He looks like he's just like on the Very verge of death. Very sympathetic. Very sympathetic. You got like one bread before. Tell you what. $125,000 in the biggest pot we've seen so far today. And Tony G on the wrong side of it. $200,000 bet from JRB. And Rob very quickly makes the call. And we've got an $826,000 pot. Biggest pot of the night. No, he lets it go. And Keating shows. This, this time it was, yeah. Yeah, it should be two, yeah. He's, he's two. Ben didn't do this time. Well, this time it was. Because there's already action, so. You can't change the action now. Well, 
One thing about you is you always know shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a cooler. Top two against bottom set. I fear for Alan Keating stack there. Boat over boat. I fear no more. Keating is going to win a huge one. Well, the only guy putting real chips in the, in the pot. And you guys are all sitting there the snug, snuggling it up and then and, and don't want to fucking... Okay. Don't worry about it, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck 220 after after playing eight minutes. And you guys want to change the uh, change blinds. It's all right. Go ahead. You guys start rocking and rolling and then have something to say. And JRB is going to call quickly... And aces for max value. Wow, aces, that, that's a setup. I, I, I am about to win you about how little I want in the hand, though. <laughs> <laughs> JRB's the best. <laughs> if, if it's just like a fucking three on the river, you just, I get him for like a 200 ball. Nick Airball with jocks. Oh, okay. Where do you... I don't, I don't know where he lives. He's gonna muck. He moves around a lot. Oh, that's fine. Yep. Some, 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 some. You get, you get a good change of scenery. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. He could have had it. And he would have flopped a set of jacks here. And he's going to get paid off. Rampage here. Trips over trips. And he lays it down. Wow. And of course, Airball has Hold to show. Aces. Fucking stinks. That was like a fucking setup hand. That was like fucking unbelievable. That's just not not normal. I folded aces. That's like fucking sick. Okay. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I, quit. I, I play. I play. I quit. It's okay. I quit. I play. On your bike. <laughs> On your bike, Tony. You and your aces. Back to Santa Monica! <laughs> wow. I have never seen that. Yes. Hey, gonna... you play if you put. That's... <laughs> no, we're playing. <laughs> and that's why it's great for the game. Not that I care. Uh, yeah, I'm so happy to bluff the guy. I didn't know about the stand-up game. I didn't even show it. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's okay. Boogie looks like he just you the ran three though. miles hey, on the Before beach in the middle of summer. What's up? Oh, I forgot to put nice sunscreen on. Damn it. 23, 100. Are you careful? Take it. Oh. Yes. Oh, she's got the ace. Damn it. Oh, I didn't think she had it. Nice hand, then. Oh. DK is going to take this one down. Oh. I tried. I tried. I tried. I would have lost it, though. So that's the stand up game, too, that's, that caused Alex to do that, I think. She's still looking for her marker, along with Raber, Hillary, and I believe Brazil God. Me and Badu. Yeah, he's scared. Yeah, I was scared. He, he's trying to make the, the nuts, otherwise he doesn't bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, stop, yeah stop, that's, that's, that's that's he's, scared, he's scared that you might check mm. your bet bet with him, right? Yeah. Scared. Yo, this is out of line. This is out of line. I'm dumber than I look. Well done, Wesley. <laughs> well done, Wesley. I said everyone else with three bet with ace queen. What? Except for you. <laughs> everyone else except you with three bet with ace queen. Are you deaf? Yes. Mm. Oh, little bit Chinese, little bit English. Look at that look. Pretty good. Shimi, you're in trouble the rest of the way. Oh, oh there's a jack. You come and see one go to town. What's wrong? Yeah. Today, Jack go lucky street. card. Wow. Oh, oh and there's the, another jack. Emergency school. 
And Sashimi needs a king, or Peter is going to scoop, and he Tony. does. Gets it in bad and wins a pot of almost $133,000. Uh, so Nick does get the scoop. Brittany finds both the fours. Oh, he folds. Wow, I did not see that coming. And of course, we're gonna have to take a closer look. Five. Hey, 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 that's you, that's you, now, that's you. Now six yeah. will come. Okay, Satoshi. Two pair <laughs> for Satoshi and Anthony looks sick. Now six will come. Oh, oh nine! He's Trip dead! Nines. He's dead! <laughs> What's Mariano doing? What is, why is he smiling? Gets snapped off by Charles's flush. And Charles wins a $142,000 pot with seven deuce of clubs. Walker, did you put What a strange hand. This is PLO? You think your blockers work here, Professor? Crap, that's not how I win. What is going on here? Oh, you got some right here. So painful, man. Looks like he's gonna release, and we're gonna see it. And both Mars and Andy are gonna jump out of their seats. Let's crumble. Oh my God. Fuck, man, I knew it. I, I, I had a feeling too, Mars. It's seven five. It's not even five eight. Three nine, right? Uh, three five. The other hand. Damn. Not even and five eight. I hope I do the black, black on the top. Back it up. Look at this. Oh, the ace on the turn. Wow. Watch out, watch out, Mars. Ace queen. Ace queen down. You win. Look at this guy, King Jack. That's the read. Is they side? Yeah. Let me see. Nice. That's good, eh? Fine. He calls! Look at that! Shit, how can you get aces so easily? Max value! You had a bear you got, I can have. Lucas go. got an 80. Keen, you have, I mean, you have an out. Keen! Keen! Oh I can have. I'm so tilted. Nice him. Thank Give him another 10 k ling ling, do something. Again, and finally, Professor does let it go. What a bluff from Stanley. Oh, a bluff? Hey, hey. See Nicely screen. done. Yeah, I almost called. But somehow I changed my mind in the last minute. There's sunburn. Oh, he breaks out. Oh. Yeah. Six, three o'clock. Since three o'clock? Oh yeah, they had to get oh, on. I can fucking remember. That's a lot to miss. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Ling Ling for our cards. Thank you. Fucking good. Four dudes. Not for me, this guy. Jeremy, look who's feeling. No, no, you still hate your seat. Your old friend, Magic. I know he was trying to steal JTC. Comes and goes. I get 40k. Not for me, this guy. Jeremy, look who's feeling. No, no, you still hate your seat. Your old friend, Magic. I know he was trying to steal JTC. Comes and goes. I get 40k. Well, there's an eight. He doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah, he makes the gutter. And all in. It's only 138,000. Yeah. Gonna let it go correctly. Lock, 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 l
Good read. I mean, spot on. They're, they're going to split this three ways. Ridiculous. What a run out. Like, I mean, this is a chop. So sick. Chop it up. I blocked oh, yeah. it. Oh, my God. I didn't this big. I thought it was dead. Hillary and Nate are both tilted for different reasons. The last time I ate here the other week, I lost too. There's 34,000 people. Just try to do it hard to me physically. Ooh, there you go. Talk to Lock in. Try it. You want to do hard to me physically? Yeah, try, try, try. Hit me. We can go outside if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me. Try. Come outside. Try. Try. Come at him. Hit me. No balls. Oh, this is out of line. Look at Luis coming. He's running in. He said you love to hurt me physically. Then he opened up his body. You saw how he opened up his body? I saw that. He said, hit me. Lock in. I was talking to Nick, and he started talking to Nick. Nah, you weren't talking to Nick. Stop it. It just felt like it was building. Christian, who do you got in a fist fight? I don't know, dude. I got Wesley, man. Got Wesley. Wesley's Wesley locked in. Fierce. He turned his body and said, do something. They really go at it, right? Good. He wasn't passive about it. Yeah, big pot energy here. This looks like it's probably going to ball in. It is. Rip it. All of it. 715,000 in the middle. Two boards, Sammy. Oh! Wow. And up the River Queen. How much can you buy him for? As much as you want. Third best player in China. I don't think Wesley counts as a player. You have to play hands to be a player. He's a spectator that sits at the table. I don't see how he can fold Chuck. Oh, you got it, you got it. There you go, you got it, you got it, and he does have it. Wow. Good end. That's the cooler we've been waiting for for two days. It was bound to happen. You play enough poker, you see enough hands, it's going to happen. You can't really beat much. He does lay it, it down. Go. Ben making all the wrong moves right now. I didn't wow. think there was a world where he folded that. Hey, Ty. Yeah, he's hey, tilted Ty. out of his mind right now. He's going to take a walk. Up. There's the Ben tilt walk. I mean, I would I like to say one I day. Just lost like a I would probably fold there. I would probably fold there. I sure, dude, are you kidding me? I, I sure as hell would. Airball. I know, even if I'm wrong, Rick, Rick would be happy for me to call, even if I'm wrong. I know that. Sick hearing this. And be really pissed if I pulled. Clock. Airball calls the clock. Desperation move. How many seconds? Hands dead. Nick Airball gets it through. You guys all are playing tight. Let's play, let's fucking gamble. Come on, Jeremy, call. Rick's screaming at you. Listen to your boss, call. Come on, Huss. But if you let me call, I would call. Airball. Let's go. What a More timely gambling, clock call. Let's bluff, come on. I think that was the difference. Put these guys to the test, Rob. Let's show them how his bosses play. You were right, Rick. I should have listened to you. Rick, that was for you, baby. Call. You in. Ooh, slow roll. Place. Good call, Wesley. You finally put money in the pot. Well done, Wesley. Yeah. He, can, he can say whatever he wants about me. If he wants to put on my mom, then... Yeah, he crossed the line. What you gonna do? You don't talk to him and I don't talk to him. I'm not gonna not talk to him. He just talks, right? I'm not gonna not talk to him. <laughs> and he's gonna fold, and Rampage gets it through. Oh my god. Unbelievable. We got a game! Oh, wow. Beamy has! Beamy has! Hand of the weekend. Kids got heart. Did I lost a 25 picture? No, you blinded it out, bro. <laughs> Come on, Wes. You, you can't just give him the, the alley-oop like that. 
at the end of the stand-up game, heads up for rolls. Yeah, okay. that's yeah. heads up for a mill. So at the end of the stand-up game, they're gonna play one hour heads up. An hour? Kansas well, like, is stuck. Kansas is like, he's smiling, but he's hating it. He's like, really? I'm losing, man? Uh, I feel like it's a bluff. Bluff? No one time bluff. Oh, but you want to see it here? Uh, <laughs> shout out is really wrong. Queen Deuce. I actually, they're going to bluff no matter what. Duh. Tilting. My Come hand. here, goddammit. Win 13,000 with the third best hand in a three way pot. You do? I had the best. You locked it up. See, my Sam City. He locked it up, buddy. Right now, all you have to do is just say raise he full. Yeah. <laughs> 274,000. <laughs> Let's see if he's going to get a raise in here. No, he's just going to call the entire way. Smooth call the entire way in a $200,000 pot for Tony G. Bro, you know what they asked me? I got called, I said, they woke me up with a call, they said there might be a seat for you. 20 minutes later, I was here with a beer in my hand, ready to go. We've I seen. nearly folded. If you bet 160, I Wow. I put you down like, mm. you just didn't bet enough. That was one of the bigger. If you ever bet the pot, I would have folded. I think I can bluff sometimes. Wow, he's gonna show it. It's scary when they call your cards out and you're bluffing, right? Yeah. It's not money until you have to explain it to your wife. <laughs> Just kidding, she doesn't get it. I'm not calling for you. I'm trying to trap you because I think you're weak. Look at those chips. What's stacks and stacks. I gotta make rent this month. Clock! Everybody, everybody clock! Me! Hold! Hold! Chop, 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 chop. And <laughs> DK's gonna win it with a pair of deuces and collect the bounty. <laughs> What an absurd head. Thank you so much. And he's angling me in the fucking three seat. It's over. It's over. over. It's 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 over.
I've never seen this before. If you show me that, he's gonna have that beard. If you show me that, he's gonna have me that beard. Thank you. Finally. Finally. She didn't even give me a second to moan about it. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. See? Fuck you, Apple. Get the no. Get the member out of the body.
only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. Never fold. Lord to the game and the bankroll. We gon' add it up when we get low. I know my life is black, I'm a chat pro. All in, let's go. Monday through Friday, what should we do? Catch us streaming live right on YouTube. Right on YouTube. ACL family, this is our house. Keating on the show, bet it all now. J Boogie, walk away, never overplay. Max value, max pain, this is not a game. Hit that thumbs up, let's go for a ride. Come and join the stream, we're starting at five. Raise it up. Chat Pro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. My name is Ryan Feldman. Welcome to Super High Stakes 200 400 action. And we have a special guest co-commentator today, none other than the man himself, Zio, in the house. What's up, Zio? What's up, Zio? What's up, guys? Uh, this will be fun and uh, not the best translator, but I try my best. Zio's going to be here translating the Chinese conversations and the jokes for you. Anything interesting that the players say in Chinese, um, he will chime in and let us know what they were what they are saying especially you know jokes and strategy talk and things like that it'll be a little different today of course we have six chinese speaking players the game today will be 200 400 so they stripped the third blind it's just going to be 200 400 no ante and the 1k progressive stand-up game will be on from the beginning constantly you can win as many hands as you want 1k for every hand won until somebody wins the last hand there's nick airball professional artist wearing the bear hat there he is in C2. Little Fish made his debut last night. He's a farmer. He's from London. And he was he was action last night. He was really mixing it up. Lots of fun. Seat four, Charles, the legend Bitcoin miner. He had a rough day last night. Lost over 200,000. Let's see if he can bounce back. Uh-huh, yeah, I'm sure. Brittany in seat six. She's a wild animal trainer, that's right. Is that actually true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's uh, She mixes it up with lions and uh, zebras and turtles and sheep and uh, unicorns and all the exotic animals. Seat seven, there's Andy, founder of StaxPoker.co. Very famous in the Chinese poker community, of course. GG Poker sponsored. And Peter, he is a professional pumpkin eater. You might find him on pumpkin patches around the world, eating random pumpkins. That's his job. Here are the chip counts. Peter's going to cover with 100K. Everyone else with a minimum $50,000. 204 are the blinds. Yeah, Zio, have you ever met a pumpkin eater before? No, first time. Oh, yeah. See how it is. Yeah, yeah, very, he's very big in that field. <laughs> so we're underway, and of course the stand-up game, the button game, the knit game, whatever you want to call it, it's progressive with this group, six-handed. Every hand you win, $1,000. There's no cap? No cap. You could wow. win 10 hands and really punish someone. We saw as many as, I think, four last night, maybe more. I race. And uh, this, this structure, even though it's six-handed, still invites a lot of limping uh, because of the stand-up game, people wanting to win win buttons. So Brittany's going to limp in with 6-5 suited. Andy raises the button. We have a three-way pot to start. Airball defending the big. And you'll see that, too. You'll see a lot of defending the big blind light because of the stand-up game as well. It definitely brings the action. I didn't want you to double out that quick, you know. I will. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Air, uh, Andy, rather, going to take down the first pot with a flush draw. We are live today, day two of three days of this crew 
and this structure. We're going to do this again tomorrow. Next week, we will be off for the holidays. We'll be back January 2nd. Tuesday, January 2nd will be our return date. So all of next week and the following Monday, we will be off. But we have a three-day marathon of these high-stakes live games. 100, 200, 400 yesterday, 200, 400 today. Probably 200, 400 tomorrow with the same crew. 50K min buy-in today. Yesterday was 20K min buy-in. So should be a, a little less shoving and a little bit more real poker action today. Charles opens to 3,000. Huge open because of the stand-up game. And Peter's yeah. going to 3-bet the Jack-10 suited. I don't understand. That's an interesting spot, though. I think Charles ends up jamming this in against Peter. Um, you could definitely call. You could definitely 4-bet to a non all in, in amount, maybe. But it's a little hard to do with these sizings. But I, I think we're going to see an all-in here from... Charles and Peter's got to decide if he wants to gamble or not early on. Peter ended up winning about 100K yesterday. Charles lost the most. On it. All in. He said all in. There it is. Oh, he called. Peter calls. Where did he gamble? Why do you think so long? I don't know. I don't have a good hand. Ready? Yeah, What's Peter saying there? He said that I'm committed to the pot. I put 9,000 and I'm committed. <laughs> top pair for Charles on the first board. They're going to run it twice. Really Peter with a flush draw. Look at this. Top two for Charles and a gutter and a flush draw for Peter. He needs a spade or a king. Bricks it out. Bricks everything. We got a 100k pot right off the bat. Chinese aces. They're doing first board, right? Good. First stand-up, first board, correct. So Charles gets a button. Oh. Ten jack. Charles in good shape here. And a scoop for Charles, so he's off to a great start. Fifteen total. Fifteen total. I'm in for fifteen. One jump. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's yesterday. One, two, four. Okay, so one, two, four. So you just two. Two blind. Easy. Easy. Because we shorthanded today. Because Neil B is dead. <laughs> Neil B is cut off. Okay, okay, you're going to talk to each other. Give him a hug. 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 Give Four thousand. You can see a huge open in this game. Peter brings the action, loves to raise big. Plays a lot of hands. And Airball's gonna call with King Queen in position here. Brick flop. Three thousand. Small bet. Hmm? Airball's going to float hmm? with the king-queen here. And turn pairs the board. Peter in good shape. No. Nick she chooses not to bluff at it. River's a queen. Top pair for Airball. And an interesting bet by Peter. Not sure about this one. Maybe a little blocker play. 25. Make it 25,000. An over bet from Airball. 25,000. And... I'm not sure if he can get Peter to call with a worse hand here. But, you know, Peter is thinking about it, so maybe if he did have a queen or jacks or something like that, What's he it? would make this call. <laughs> jacks would check ten, though? Yeah, that's the thing, is like a hand like jacks or tens aren't usually be uh, checking the turn, right? So 
it's hard for Airball to get value here unless Peter just happens to have Queen Jack or Queen Ten, right? Otherwise, it's hard to get called by worse. So, you know, Airball could have went smaller and maybe got Peter to be curious with Ace High because of the stand-up game. Just thinking about it. Trap. Would Airball ever do this with a hand worse than Ace Jack? No, Peter does make the fold. You just uh, once I bet it and you still raise me, I think you had a queen. That's what he said. Good read by Peter, makes the fold. Airball off to a decent start. You're watching Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. Ryan Feldman here with Zio. You know, he, Zio's been referenced by Billy in the booth many, many times, but he's never actually been heard on the mic. And he's actually here live in person today, commentating over this mostly Chinese high stakes game. He's going to give you the translation of anything interesting, any strategy talk, any funny conversations these players are having. We also ask them to speak English as much as possible, but keep in mind that Peter and Brittany are from China. They're not very good at English speaking, especially Peter. No, no button. And so we can ask them to speak English, but the fact is Peter and Brittany just don't really speak English much. Um, little Fish does a little bit. He's He, he speaks decently. Andy is... Very American, as Airball is, of course, but knows Chinese. Um, Charles' English is, is pretty decent as well. And so, you know, when Andy and Airball and Charles are talking to each other, it's going to be mostly in English. But when they're talking to Peter or Brittany, it's just going to be hard for them to have a conversation in English. And so they're going to choose to talk Chinese. And that's why we have Zio here to translate anything interesting. But keep in mind, poker is a global sport, a global game. People play it all around the world. No matter what country, no matter what language, they love the action. It's a universal language, really. And here at Hustle Casino Live, we welcome people from around the world in any culture, any language, that just love poker like we do. Fuck! Jumbo Gong Ping. And How's no three come on the river? I know. Little fish taking it down. He was action yesterday. He was really mixing it up. Okay. Brittany and Peter, heads up. Huh? Oh, I'll play. I need to get one? I got, yeah. First one, oh, first one. Uh, first stage. hand that we play, I got one. Jack, seven diamonds. Yeah. Flop, yeah. ace, king, three, two diamonds. Mm. You got it. I got 1,500, four fold. Yeah. Last <laughs> shot. Rain's gone cold. I'm not here at all. My window. 800 to go. Pocket aces for little fish. Little fish. Oh. Nice call. Nice call. There's an 800 straddle. Nice he call. just they limps in. Charles, Charles, sight. Oh, nice. trick. Charles is going <laughs> to fall for it. We saw this a couple times yesterday from Charles. Charles he had ace three suited <laughs> once, and I think it was Brittany that limped in with aces. and got it in against him and they chopped and can he back raise here cut off first button this looks a little strong did you ever flat here i mean it does make sense given it's six-handed cut off first button it looks way too strong to limp raise here Bump it up. he's gonna do it 15 large He just said too strong, so Charles knows. After the first uh, hand show for the stand-up, they don't have to show the second one? Correct. So first yeah. button of each round, they have to show to get the button. But once they already have one, they don't have to show to get the subsequent buttons. Charles said, you're trapping them. He said, yes. And then Charles said, of course I have something, though. I have something, but 
I cannot call. There we go. Air ball translated for us as well. Again? No. Again? No. Okay. All right. All right. I Zio, you've played some <laughs> high stakes progressive stand up games, right? Get some sleep Private games. Play video games it's pretty fun. What, how do you change your strategy in a game like this? Um, I think there's a couple of strategy that once, like, the more button that they're left, that um, you can, I uh, know, the less button that's on, that you can open your side, like, make your open size bigger. and. The, le I mean, the, the less people that are left, you mean? Yeah, the less people are left. So you're saying if there's only two people left, then you'll open or three bet bigger? Yeah, because Because like, those people are more desperate? Yeah, and also So at the beginning of the round, you'll make a more standard size? Yeah, and then I think also, of course, like, everyone is playing very looser. Than okay, okay. Well, <laughs> Birdie coming in with the... Like. Uh, what happened this time? So it's a three bet from... Three bet from Andy here in the small blind, and Little Fish and Brittany both call. So Little Fish open, Brittany called button with a six off. You see a lot of just looser action in general in this game, and it, you know, in a way, it kind of justifies if you want to play looser, right? Because well, you got the one K per hand, so it's okay to flap the a six off to a three bet here in position. Because if you if you win. You get a lot for it. And look at this now, Brittany. Gonna get rewarded. She just jams. Middle pair here for a little fish. Thirty-five four. Just make sure that I call. Oh, you can oh the, my, he's going to call. I'm that's surprised. The, that's the stand-up game that I thought. Yes, that's Bernie right. Does, Bernie doesn't have a uh, button. Yeah, so he, Bernie doesn't have a button, and, and he decides to gamble because it's stand-up game. And now he needs to hit a king or a jack or running hearts. Does not get it on the first board. King or a jack only for little fish. Oh, he hits the king. Wow. How lucky is that? Emergency scoop. What do you ask? Why couldn't you fold when little fish said, I thought you had flush show? Uh, give me our least run, okay? I'm gonna have a quick food. Now he touched the fan. He didn't have time. Okay. 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 So that ends that round, and now they're gonna start a new one. I see without you little fish. I see you dump some crazy hands in Santa. Who's that? Me? You? No, 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 no way. Play the same stand up or no stand up. Six thousand. <coughs> hmm. So Peter opens like to 6,000. Is that 12 X? Yeah, in the small blind. They're playing 200, 415 X. He opens in the small blind. No, 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 definitely not. Blind versus blind. I mean, fold or call, but if airball folds, Peter gets an automatic thousand dollars. No choice. No choice. And airball is going to defend here, even though Peter only has 26 K back. All in. Door card. Door card. So nice. Jack of diamonds in the door. Is that you fold this one? Of course. Oh. Run it out. Run it out. Run it out. Ah. 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 
That's you. <laughs> That's you. Oh wow! Look at that. The, the rabbit. He backdoors it straight. The rabbit's fake though. Don't worry. The jack of diamonds in the window. I'm like, I'm all. What happens when you try to wrap in? Look at that outfit by uh, Airball Chat. What do you think? He's got the matching sweatshirt and sweat shorts with the different shades of blue. Where did that come from? Chat, what do you think? Is that one of the elders' hat? Yeah, I've yeah. Seen, I so think I've seen that before. Oh, here, I got one for you. Want one? You got one? I, yeah, hold on. Yeah, you have one? We got Zio a hat. It's a, a boss gorilla hat. You gonna wear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll right. wear that. You might get some more respect on the poker table if you wear that. Charles taking down Jack 10. He gets a button. So Charles and, and Peter now each have one a hand. Look at this. Look at that one. All right, I just thought of a new poll I'm going to put up in the chat about Nick Airball. 1,000? 1,000. <laughs> All right, new chat, or new poll up in the chat. Check it out. Favorite part of Nick Airball, his hat, his outfit, his beard, or his mouth? What do you guys like the most? Uh, started 40 something. Let us know. Top pair for Andy. He's in great shape here. Charles. Calling a gutter. Charles with a gutter. Ace high. He's going to call. He needs an ace or a deuce to pull ahead. Even if he was somehow ahead on the flop, he's probably dead now on the turn. Taking it down. And Andy takes it down. So I believe now we have Brittany versus Airball, I believe, right? Yeah, Brittany yeah. and Airball. What are you doing there? Nick just said uh, he's ready to ship it in. He might not be lying. Let's see. Airball won about 22K yesterday. Small win for the game. Peter swung a lot, ended up up 100. Andy ended up up over 200. Brittany lost a bit. Little Fish, I believe, lost a bit. Can't remember exactly what Little Fish's result was. Charles lost over 200. Three ways. Hmm. Limp Pot here, three ways. Top pair for Brittany, so. This has got to be interesting. Let's see if Airball decides to float here. It is the last round of, last right, hand of stand up. Call. If he folds, then he owes the table 4,000. He makes the call. Look at this. He turns the nut flush draw, and Brittany checks. She's also got a king of spades in her hand. She snap calls. This is going to be interesting. River is a brick. Is Airball going to go for it? 3x pot? Yes. He is going to go for it. 3x pot and a snap call. That is ownage from Brittany. Snap call. King three. Covers, covers, covers. Nick Airball. 100k pot goes to Brittany. What did Brittany say there? Uh, she Good just call. said I top here, I had to call. That might be true though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Airball getting owned <laughs> by <laughs> Brittany. That's like the fun part of his stand up. <laughs> yeah. 
How fast was that dust? Yeah. Just check, 3x pot, all in, snap call, next hand. <laughs> Charles said, like, when I jam ace queen, at least, like, Peter thought about it a second. She didn't even think about it for a second. Eight hundred straddle. Great. Thirty five. Oh. Owen. <coughs> One more. There it is. Thirty five. Owen. You want two? And air ball. So this is first hand of the new stand-up game round. Six-handed again. Just look at his card. I let you decide. Should I call him? I can't. That's not fair. And air ball just ships him with king jack over everybody. Very first hand. What's Brittany going to do here? What's the chances Brittany folding here? I think based on the last hand, she's even more likely to get it in here. And Peter flatting behind doesn't mean much. Probably on the cusp. I mean, eight, eight, Go. ten. Maybe she oh. folds. Go, all in. <laughs> Go all in. There it is. Go means all in. Go means all in. Twice. Okay, twice, twice, twice. Here you go. Twice. Ninety-nine k pot. Another one for Airball and Brittany. And Airball needs a king and a king only. Or some diamonds. Oh, Running diamonds Ooh, only here for a diamond. There's oh, there it is. Yeah, Can Airball hit a diamond? No. Nope. And a scoop for Brittany. And Brittany, in two hands, wins $100,000. Oh, Brittany up 108,000, airball down 100. You think Nick is tilted right now? Oh, definitely. 800 straddle. Three thousand. <coughs> oh. oh. Peter's I mean, flatting You see what five. the stand up game does. Peter in there in the small blind for three thousand with Jack five off. Alright. Good. Five five five. Yeah. Good. Friendly, 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 friendly night. That for Charles. Big flop for Charles. Anyone else had anything? Peter's got middle pair. And Andy has a back door flush draw. Check. Some back doors for little fish as well. Everyone's got a little bit of back door action. 11 towel. Thank you, size. Peter only has 32,000. And a call from Peter. Wow. Interesting. Oh, quads for Charles. Check. 
Jackson. Oh, and he's going to shove all in. 18,000. Okay, he actually bet 18, so not all the stack. Wow, and Charles out. gets Peter to jam. One time. <laughs> what a gift, 80k pot for Charles. <laughs> Charles and Brittany are both off to a great start so far. <laughs> Peter's going to reload for 100. All in. Just ship it in. Wow. Your blind versus oh. blind, pocket sevens, all in. Look, in this game, you're not going to get the super deep, high SPR poker plays too often in this game, but you are going to get a lot of action. You're going to get a lot of 100k plus pots. You're going to get a lot of all ins. <laughs> And uh, if you like that, then that's what you're going to see tonight. <laughs> Should be a little less gambly than last night because of the 50k min, as I opposed to the 20k min. The oh. <laughs> Stacks should get pretty deep <laughs> later in the show. And even Andy recognizes that the strategy in this structure, it's not necessarily about being deep. Because Andy yesterday and today buying in the minimum, so he understands that. Where in previous games he's always trying to cover everyone, but he recognizes that a lot of people are just shoving all in, and he's yeah, I think just to that. I think Check. the Check. I think you want to Check. shove it in more likely, but you don't want to call it off when someone's shoving you. Yeah, I mean, if you're playing really deep, you might actually have to play tighter than you want to yeah. in this game because everyone else is shoving so wide. Check. Trips for air ball. Check. He checks it back. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, he's going to get a bet. I, will I don't think airball should be raising here. I think it's just a call. Yeah, thank you. He does just call. <laughs> Peter said I lost the stand up twice and Nick lost once. Just thinking about it. I've learned to say one word in Chinese. Six I can thousand. say, uh, actually, I know a few, but I know, one, one, I know one specific number. I don't know why. The, the, what was the one that you've been saying recently? I know how to say 1,100. Ichen Ibai. Is that 1,100? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> That's the one that I know how to say. What, what, what was the, the remember the word that you keep saying? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, it's crazy person. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Uh, uh, now I forget. Remind me what it is. Oh, you Sin Jin Bing. Yes. That's the one I learned. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but. Sin Jin Bing. Feels like aces right now. One A two guys that have no button on it. It's aces. It feels like aces. Yeah. They can pop a set already with that Nick realized like in the end Peter doesn't have a button, so we're betting today's check. Pretty well play. Charles with King Ten suited here on the button. Three thousand. Peter does not have a button and he's gonna get in there. So who's left here? We got Peter and who else? Andy, so... Just Peter and Andy, okay. This has got to be tough to win. <laughs> Charles taking it down with a nice flop. We'll get another button. He's got a, at least two there. That's two. If you're enjoying the action tonight, despite the language barrier, please hit that like button, the thumbs up button, show us some support. If you're not enjoying it, then all hey, good. Went for the overlimp here. Pocket kings for Brittany. Wow, she overlimps in the button. What is this? So, listen. Look at this. She knows that Peter and Andy don't have a button, and their heads yeah. up, and they're both on her left in the blinds. She's hoping that one of them raises. <laughs> But it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't yeah. really work where if she raised, they both would have probably called. Raise it up. But Charles now betting with middle pair. Brittany's going to raise. And Charles just lays it down. Hey, okay. Hey. <laughs> She just said uh, she was shopping them. queen. Uh, Queens. Oh, go, go. Queens. Queens. Oh, go, go. Oh, go, go. David Jacks. Tuckman <laughs> couldn't make it today, but he might be in tomorrow. If not, we'll have Raver Poker commentating tomorrow. <laughs> DJF will be back in January. Where did he go? Uh, he's just uh, away for the rest of the, the holidays. Pretty good hand here. Pretty intense to do. So Peter and Andy still the last two left here. Andy's got seven deuce off. Peter raises it up. I mean, Brittany should be defending here, right? She's got Ace 8 suited. She's got Andy and Peter in there. Yep, she gets yes. in there. What does Andy do? He hates this. So 7,000 is the debt money. For the center. He's gonna fold. So now he has to rely on Brittany to defend against Peter. But Peter's the aggressor, so it's gonna be tough. Oh, and he just tapped her shoulder, like in Chinese, like, you can't really tap someone's shoulder, it's like bad luck. Was he doing that as a troll for bad luck, or did it by accident? I don't know. <laughs> 5,000. got it through. Well, it worked, because uh, Peter wins the hand. And... Oh, no, sorry, it didn't work, because Peter won the hand, so... Yeah. Oh wait, why would he, he would want Brittany to have good luck, that doesn't make any sense, actually. Exactly. So he met, he screwed himself up. 
because he wants Brittany to win the hand, and now Andy <laughs> loses stand up and has to pay everybody out. Charles has more than one. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, that pressure. Back on. That's that's why she she's saying right now. <laughs> she's telling him about tapping her shoulder. Yeah, that's that's how Green said. That's why I lost her hand because you oh. tapped in my shoulder. That's funny. Yeah, I know. So new stand-up round now. They will start it over right away again. 200, 400, 1K progressive stand-up. This is really a much bigger game than 200, 400 when you consider the stand-up game bounties. Every hand you win, you get $1,000. If you don't win a hand for a whole round, you're going to pay out a minimum of 5000 You see Nick just folded the ace three here. I think... Um, ace three off or shoot it? Ace three off, but... Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to get in there in the small blind, I suppose. Yeah, and it's the first hand first of the round. First hand, exactly. That, I think that plays into it. When, oh, what's Andy got to do here? 42. 42 behind. Andy's deeper oh, so, than... Yeah, okay, there yeah. it is. So Andy just added on 100K just before this hand. And uh, But the, the problem is that Peter's behind him with 100K. I mean, Andy could jam here, right? But if he gets called... He's probably no better than 60%. So it's a tough spot. Tough spot. I think I'm definitely calling yeah. here. I think uh, call is fine. The SPR is... So he has 40 back? Yeah, if Peter calls, uh, the SPR is going to be like 1. Right? So... But I, I, I think this is good value here. He's in position against the aggressor. He's got Peter in there with probably some weak hand. There is the three way. <laughs> and it's probably just better than folding and better than jamming. What do you think about four bet? Yeah, you could like four bet to a fold to a jam. Yeah, like a you could four bet jam. to like a, a normal no, no. amount. Yeah. So now we got middle pair here, backdoor flush draw for a little fish. Nothing for Andy. Who and you got a flush draw for Peter. Peter's not folding this hand at all. Steve from Chicago said, better to pay the 5K bounty than dust off 20K trying to win a button with rags. I totally disagree. Yeah. You got to go for it, Steve. It's yeah. the principle. <laughs> I see Feldman done a lot of things since then. It's like, what's that Eric Person saying? It's better to uh, die on your feet than live on your knees. Is that the saying? This is going in. He calls. Wow, just a call here from Peter. He's going to... Try to hit a diamond. We have clubs in the turn. Now both players with a flush draw. Holy. Peter now in worse shape. What does Peter do now? He's, he's in a pickle here. He's actually getting direct odd. Yeah, he's getting the right price here if he knows Little Fish's hand. But there's 66k in the middle. 66 in the middle. Little Fish has 30k. And uh, Peter's going to lay it down. Rapid it, hunt. There it is. My dollar. Oh, my dollar. my dollar. You guys check, check. I wonder what would have happened if Peter jammed it on the flop if Little Fish would have called it off or not. It probably would have been close. A nice spot for Little Fish. He doesn't look like someone with folder. Like folder. Peter off to a rough start today. He just said, I'm not folding. <laughs> he said, I already bet it. I can't fold. <laughs> Chinese people doesn't like to fold. How much? 1,000. Yeah, three ways. Okay. Flush draw for Andy. Yeah. 1500. 1500. No one else has anything. Andy's got to get one. 
Okay, Lawrence. I'm doing the, the button. You're watching Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Production. Super high stakes action today, 200, 400. Spin and win with a new out of this world feature on WPT Global. Global spins give you the chance to invest a little and win galaxy sized prizes. To celebrate the launch, WPT Global is giving away over $18,000 every week. Get in on the action by using the code HUSTLER and get our welcome package with deposit match and a chance to win Global Spins tickets. Today's show brought to you by WPT Global. Head on over to WPTGlobal.com. Use the code HUSTLER. And sign up now to get their welcome package. WPT Global. If you're overseas, you're looking for some poker action. That is the place to go. Oh, <laughs> Andy four betting all in with pocket aces and Peter lays it down. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna put out a flop just for collection. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll pay time. I have two clubs. Two clubs. Oh, Ace clubs, you bomb for. She told them they bomb for. Yeah, so I'm saying. Then you have chance, right? I call. You can call or raise. No, I still cannot call. I put 10k in. Yeah, but maybe you re-raise 10k, 30k, and then call. I raise the 30k, and then any go on it, I have to have to call. Yeah. This is a way. Four thousand. <laughs> Big hand here, Brittany with ace queen, three betting from the small blind. Charles with pocket tens on the button. It's really hard to fold big hands in this structure. And Charles just makes the call. They are fairly deep now. Both players winning a fair amount today. And a good flop for Charles. Good repair with a gutter. And Brittany makes the fold. And Charles is going to take that one down. Uh, <laughs> Peter Archer, Walha, Andy, Shawu, Nima Sanga, Wu. Nick is checking everyone's buy-ins. No, I'm not going to give you. I don't want to. Ten. 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 
算了算了，给你给你给你，觉得我好欺负你？什么欺负啊？我比你大多了，我。秒卡好意。Peter's Peter's saying that I snap call Lauren. Charles gotta open up the king a suited. Catch jacks. They can for air ball. How's he gonna get value here? Oh, he's going to twenty thousand. It looks like. Oh no. No, put it back. No. <laughs> Twenty-two. This might be too big. Too with his big. stack. Twenty-two four. <laughs> Thank you. Take it down. Oh, yeah, so you pass. Oh, I'm going to show you a pie. Don't you? Not you, B. So you tell you, be a you. That's me. I'm going to chunk or that. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, 我的王，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，王兵，
where he's going to try again with the ace forward. Pretty, pretty good flop here. Top pair for Peter. Uh, middle pair for Brittany with backdoor diamonds. Little fish with uh, open ender and a backdoor flush draw. Brittany just folded king seven. Yeah, so Brittany folds middle pair. And Peter is going to put in the raise with top pair. I love it. And little fish with a draw. He's going to continue, I assume, here. He's got the backdoor diamonds. He's going to fold this. Wow, wow. He does fold it. And Peter playing big pot poker takes it down. So our poll about Nick Airball earlier, the, the early leader was his hat, but his mouth has pulled ahead. Turns out that despite all of the constant negative comments about Airball's antics that you guys actually secretly love Nick Airball's mouth and what comes out of it. I assume that you interpret that's what mouth means in the poll. It's what comes out of his mouth. Outfit. I, I like the outfit, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of his scruffy beard. But the outfit is actually in last place. The mouth pulls ahead in first place. Great. Yeah, and you got to possibly the, the upset of the night. Down. All right, Andy's gonna squeeze the queen check. Ball. He's gonna put the aggression on. You might want to go bigger here uh, in this game. What's open? Fourteen. Thir uh, Thirteen hundred. Thirteen. Yeah, yeah, out of position. Where and you got Peter <clears throat> as the opener. You might want to go bigger. <laughs> and now he's gonna invite Peter in. Or possibly Peter Forbats. Peter made a really sick play last night. Oh, I only made a six? Yeah. Oh, I thought I made a six. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said raise. So I said raise, and then I said T10, but I put in six. What did he say? Yeah, it's okay. I think he meant to make it 7K, but. He put in okay. 6,000. Mm -hmm. He said, what did he say? Shi, shi Shen? Shi Shen. That's seven? That's seven, yes. Okay. Well, that's not that big of a deal. If he meant to make it like 11 or 16, then obviously way different, but six and seven is not going to really change much. What's the chance Peter for here? No, Peter is going nowhere here. He's got top, top. He can't wait to. Put that's the problem with a hand like a, a hand like Queen Jack off in the big line when you got Peter on your left. Like if you don't size up, then you're gonna invite him in there, Nothing. and now you're out of position with a mediocre hand. And Andy's just really lighting 6K on fire if he doesn't flop top <laughs> pair. People have buttons right now, Nick. Huh? Only two people have buttons right now. Fuck you guys, I'm not on this Three buttons? Door dash? Nice. They meet you there? They meet you in front of I just give my phone to. Uh, like Cheetah, and then I think they used to be Oh, nice, nice. Very smart. Uh, that yeah. looks like... I can't stand the food here anymore. Oh, I can't, I can't uh, eat it anymore. What is that? Like that might be one of the places I've ordered from recently. Is that Sorry, Sweet Green? Uh, I was watching, but you know, I can't, <laughs> can't, can't lie about that one. It might be Sweet <laughs> Green. The food's great. It looks like a salad place. Are you guys still doing the... Yeah, yeah me, Airball, and another guy have a, a big bet going, if you haven't heard fitness bet on losing percentages of our body fat percent. It started uh, early November, goes to early, early June, seven month bet. You have to lose at least 20% of your body fat percent or you get penalized 50,000 and then whoever finishes in third place pays the first place person 50K as well. 
So you could lose as much as 100,000. You could win as much as 150,000. He's trying to eat healthy. What is he drinking right now? What is that? Uh, that Coke? looks like Diet Coke. Uh, at least it's Diet. Yeah, he's definitely making a bigger effort. Um, said he's been working out a lot. He worked out today. But yeah, Airball was in uh, pretty good shape five years ago and has fallen out of shape. And so this bet's helping motivate him to get back into shape. And it's a win-win for all of us. We're all friends. <laughs> But there's a lot of money in the line, and so we all want to win. And so I've also been going very hard at it, trying to trying to get into the best shape that I can. And you have only uh, have we shall yeah. see how yeah. it develops have, in a few months, how we're all looking. Red it's hard to keep up with the consistency and the discipline. And these flop trips. Big flop for Andy. Yeah, but nobody else with anything. He's got the greater than 99% next to his name. Three bet the fours. So bringing with king queen, she's gonna get in there. Small four bet or small three bet from uh, Peter. And that's a big flop for Brittany. <coughs> Peter could get himself in trouble if he bets here. Uh, just a call from Brittany. Well, that's a good card for Peter. She said, like, she has a jack, but I don't think. <laughs> so Peter can, or Brittany can no longer hit an ace or a nine. She might just fold here. Let's see. Yeah, she does. Yes. Wow, Peter takes it down. <laughs> she said you had a full house. Andy and Peter both with a button. Look at that. Peter has, looks like four buttons already in this round. So he's going to get paid extra here. Little Fish does not have a button. Charles does not have a button. So they're both in there because I believe this is heads up, Little Fish and Little Fish and Charles uh, heads up here for the button. Top, top for Andy. Open ender for Peter. So we are going to see an Andy versus Peter matchup here. Seven on the turn. Peter with more outs. He's got a pair with his open ender. But might be more difficult to call now. Could be dead if Andy has a flush. Or if Andy had somehow jack eight. Wouldn't be the worst spot to raise here if you're Peter. Looks like folding. Folding's probably best. 
And he does make the good fold. Good discipline fold by Peter. <laughs> Victor said, what does Peter do for a living? He is Peter, Peter, he's a pumpkin eater. Believe it or not. <laughs> You're watching Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. Ryan Feldman with Zio making his actual commentary debut today, translating some of the Chinese conversations for us as you check out the Crystal Room here at Hustler Casino on this Thursday afternoon. Also <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. Call, call, call. Yes, she did. This could be interesting. What have you guys caught? All right, there are last two in stand-up, and Little Fish with a pair. Charles with a gutter and two overs in the flop. And now Little Fish is going to check. Charles said, why'd you check? Why you check? Okay. Let's take a free car. Great river for a Little Fish. He has trips. Let's see if he can check it again. Because if he checks it again and Charles checks back, he's just automatically losing stand-up. He's going to pay out something like 10000 You have five? You that. have five? You have five? <laughs> Come on. I have... <laughs> you have five? This is funny. Take it. Take it. Call me to find out. Five. <laughs> One. Over, over. One. Here, give me the Two, one. Okay. Two. Four. 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 Four for Peter. Mm. Four. Let me do that. You give airball too, so. So I think it's uh, three, four, nine K, I believe he paid. $9,000 is the penalty that round for Charles. How can you have a five there? You made five? No, you yet. Because the ace king. Peter got three bet. This is good news for Airball. Now he can put the four bet in, in position against Peter, who loves to call. Yes, on top. Go with. How much? One thousand five. Fifteen two. Snap call by Snap Peter. Snap call from Peter. Here we go. Over thirty k in the middle already. As we go to the flop. And not a good flop for anyone, but Airball could, could bet small here. Could do it again as delayed C bet here on the turn. He does it. He checks back again, giving Peter a chance to get there. But what's he going to do if Peter just bets big on this river? I don't know if he will, but. He's going to it. What does Airball do? He put himself in a really rough spot here. I mean,. Airball's hand is fairly face up here, right? Like he has ace king a lot of the time. It's the most common hand to four bet with. You can figure this out. Over bet from Peter, I love it. Specifically trying to get ace king or ace 10 to fold. Ace jack, I don't think is folding here. Can Airball sniff this out? If Airball makes this this call chat, Airball is back. If he folds, dust. Dust, kid. 
think about it. Can Airball sniff this out? Well, hands make sense to overbet here. I guess he could. The question is, is like, would Peter overbet here with a jack? Yeah. Or does he only have a queen or a boat here? That's the question that Airball has to figure out. If you call here and he shows up with jack 10, it's a little embarrassing. There was a hand yesterday where Peter triple barreled Andy and made a sick play with complete air. Showing everybody that he's very, very capable of making these crazy plays. And Airball lays it down. He's going to wait for a better spot. Oh, Tatojila. Oh, he knew. He said he bluffed me. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna show? No. Wait. He doesn't want to show. Hold on. Yeah, Peter had to show for that button, right? He doesn't want to show. Is that what he said? No, he, he didn't say that, but he just pulled it. I just saw him muck it. Yeah, because that was a new round. He and he did not have a button yet. yet. So look at that. He does not get a button, actually. Because he doesn't want to show. So it cost him $1,000 to not show his hand. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Did you pick out all the queens here? Peter straight up lying his by his hand and say, yeah, he's clean. This is getting in. Yeah. Oh, this is a big hand alert here. Andy with queens, airball with ace king. There is. And airball is just going to ship it in here in the stand up game. Andy snaps. We have a classic flip for $131,000 between Andy and Nick Airball. Uh, flopping dead. Queens are good there. Andy with the boat. And Airball is going to have to hit an ace or king on the second board. He's not going to be able to breathe. Can he do it? Ace or a king, and air, or Airball is buried. Uh, or a three. Nope. Wow, Nick Airball cannot breathe. Andy wins a $131,000 flip. Andy running hot, Airball not so much, and you hate to see it. <laughs> you get bluffed, you make the wrong decision, very next hand you lose a huge flip. Sucks for Airball. Down 150 now. And Airball down 150, yeah, he is completely buried now. Peter also losing, the other four players are winning. V pips. Everybody 45% or higher in this six handed game. Charles picking the Kings. Peter has back to flush on good gutter with a pair. Yep, he's going to come along. Go for a forty percent size. Could Peter turn his hand to the bluff? I mean, Peter still has a pair and a gutter here, and he's going to come along. He's getting a decent price, and Charles now can size up and put in a good value bet and hope that Peter gets sticky with his nine or hope that he has a queen that won't fold as well. I don't think Charles has to worry too much about not having the best hand here. Six, seven got there on that five so quick. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of hands that Charles has to worry about here. Full pot. Yeah, he's gonna size up here and hope that Peter has a queen. Of course, he has nine, but he still might get sticky.
He's got a call. He does pay it off. A nice pot for Charles. Pocket force too. That's the second big. All right. I mean, pre-flop, pre-flop. No queens. Yeah, one time jacks last yesterday. You went from pocket force to pocket kings. Yeah, today good. <laughs> Charles got to punish the limper. I think Nick is in any mood to folding any hands right now. Airball is buried. Defending the Queen 10 here, he does flop middle pair. Bad flop for Charles. <laughs> Let's see if Charles keeps going for it here. Peter said that me and the Airball stuck 200k together. Who said that? Peter. Peter said that him and Airball both stuck yeah, 200. Stuck 200. <laughs> Gotta go for it. Wow, interesting bet from Charles here with Ace High. Continue. If the break comes off, kind of Airball is not folding this hand. It's Absolutely. a great run out. Did he just Wait. check out a turn? Yeah, he did. Oh, sorry. I check out a turn. Okay, sure. check. Interesting. Check. So he does sorry, check Charles. out of turn and. Uh, like, I just checked preparing to yeah, yeah, yeah. face it all in. <laughs> and Charles checks sorry, anyway and gives I up. I cannot, I cannot go all in. You have first step. Yeah, I don't fold. Of course. Sorry about that. Yes, that is actually Zio so speaking, D'Lo. He's here in the booth yeah. finally <laughs> making his debut in call. this <laughs> mostly I mean, Chinese I anyway. <laughs> lineup here. I give you a Translating all of our <laughs> it like conversations nice and jokes that we don't know about. No matter what yeah. about. <laughs> Look, they got the emoji in the chat. There it is. If you're a chat pro, you can put the Zio emoji in there. <laughs> No matter what I have, if I'm let's, let's not see, first, let's show it off here. First, oh, look at that! We got Brittany, we got me, we got Zio, we got Andy, Airball. Look at that, Charles. Who made those? Lauren, yeah, Raver and the <sighs> production crew. They make Mama. the emojis. Peter, look at that! We got so many of them now. If you want to use these cool emojis in the chat, sign up as a chat pro on our YouTube channel. Perhaps one of the mods can post the link in the chat right now for those who want to sign up as a chat pro and join us. It's very fun. A lot of perks, including these emojis. You got a chat raise a gutter. Wow, Peter, check raising. He needs it a 10. A 10 would be no good as Little Fish would make a boat. Let's see if Little Fish continues here. I imagine he will. He's got a call. A ten would be pretty wild. Okay. Pretty good card. This will be well. yeah, this will be interesting because if Peter does barrel here. I don't know what Little Fish is going to do. I mean, we see the percentages. He's 94%, but 
you know, facing a check raise on a turn barrel, it would be a tough spot. Peter does decide to check. Peter makes a pair, but he can't think that that's good. See if he flops out of it. Seems pretty. I mean, if, if he were to shove here or over bet, it would be really hard to call a tens. Um, it would be really hard for a queen to call. I think as now well. he's thinking that he might have to turn this into a flop, but little fish, yeah, to is. to get a queen to fold. Yeah. Wow, high yeah, level I don't play. No was. So he's specifically trying to get a queen to fold. Say he has a flush, an eight, a boat, an ace. That's what you said, yeah. <laughs> so I thought you had a queen. Yeah, I mean, and Peter would check raise there with a queen a lot of the time. Nice hand for little fish. He's saying that. <laughs> Nothing. Maybe. He said, I thought you had a queen, but Peter said I would, I would call with a queen. So he's trying to bluff him with a queen, but then Peter said, I would have called if I had a queen. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Peter's going to river a queen and he will Take it down, he already had the best hand. He'll get a button. Can you hear me that one, Big hand alert here, Charles with pocket jacks. Brittany with ace king suited. She just calls the three bet on the button. An and airball with nines. Nice. Wow. Airball is about to get sniped. Is there any chance he's not put it in here? I mean, if Airball can somehow figure this out. Yeah, if he can somehow not jam. Interesting. But I, but I don't know how. I mean, Charles is going to three bet worse hands than nines. Brittany is going to he's going cold to call to worse call. hands. He does just call. Airball could get away from getting stacked here, possibly. Uh, I don't know how he figured out not to jam. But we have three big hands heading to a flop. And oh, set my. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> set over God. set? What? Charles with top set. Airball with so middle set. Steaming. Brittany might even continue here against a small bet because she just flatted pre and she has two overs and a backdoor flush draw. What a flop. Nick Airball will not be able to breathe after this one. Let's see what sizing Charles decided to do here. Somebody get Nick Airball another avocado bowl. This is not going to end well. He might throw up his bowl that he just ate all over the table after this end. About half pot. Oh, you gotta get away from this. Go on. 
Oh no, all in snap call, set over set. <laughs> oh 161k pot. Wow, boat over boat. 10 for the three quarters. Nope. And Charles is running hot today. Yesterday, he was the big loser, lost over 200. Today, airball is the one down the most, and Charles is up the most. That's how poker goes, folks. Day by day, session by session, it all changes. You could play just as good one day as another. Be the big winner one day, the big loser the next day. You never know. And what a great looking flop for Charles with top set and he stacks Nick Airball who absolutely cannot breathe now. The WPT Global Winter Festival is back. Over 180 events and over 4 million in guarantees. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up with bonus code HUSTLER and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. Shout out to WPT and WPT Global, our sponsor. You are outside the US, head on over to WPTglobal.com. Sign up today using the code HUSTLER, get your free welcome package. And we gotta give a big shout out as well to the WPT for putting on a great event at the win. It was really well organized. Yeah, you played in it. I went over there for a day just to check it out. Everybody was there. They had some great events, including the main event, which came just shy of their guarantee. But of course, they gave away 40 million and uh, over 5 million for first place. And they had the one drop event, a million dollar buy in, didn't have a lot of entries, but over 7 million for first. Um, they had the prime championship, which was over a million for first. So. Just some great events, and Nick shout out to keep, them. They just keep getting bluffed. <laughs> wow, Airball gets bluffed here <laughs> off of four, and it is oh not his God. day today. <laughs> it is not his day. You're not going to hear a lot of talking from Nick Airball today. So if you voted in that poll for Nick Airball's mouth, well, it's not really going to be in use much today because he's buried. Here are the numbers. Airball down 208. Charles up 188. See everybody else in the middle. Peter down... 134 as well. And yeah, when Airball's buried, the table's a little quiet. Did Nick win yesterday? He won 20K yesterday. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that face. That is a sad face right there. He took the hat off. He's like, I'm done with this bear that's hat. The, that's a tilting face. 2000. Who's left in the stand up? Is Nick and. Looks like Airball and Little Fish. I'm not sure if anyone else, but our poll is up to 47% that okay. you're going to hit the like button before 7 p.m. because, okay. yes, you love seeing Nick Airball buried. Half the chat loves seeing him buried, apparently. Oh, Nick has top here. He can't wait to put this $40,000 in. Well, he's going to make the call. And let's see if he can dodge a king or a jack or getting bluffed. He's not in the mood to fold now. That's a great That's card for airball. Let's see if Peter decides to... You know, Peter has a pretty good sense for, like, when to bluff, when not to. Yes. We saw him change gears a few times yesterday. Oh but God. this is that is Nick Airball's day. Uh, in a nutshell, he is trapping oh with a seven. God. And Peter just rivers top pair in, like, the best spot ever. Flush draw bricks. Yeah. He kind of just has to call now because he got bluffed a couple times already Head by up. Peter. Call. Snap call. call. Oh man, Airball cannot breathe. <laughs> Chat, if you love seeing Nick Airball buried <laughs> and upset, I want you to I want you to put the, the Nick Airball emoji in the chat. Put the Nick Airball emoji in the chat, spam it, 
click on it if you are a chat pro, if you love seeing Nick Airball buried, put it in there. What's the most Nick ever lost in a session? Uh, the most he's lost on the show in a session, I believe, was around 750,000. Oh. Yes. That was that one show where he was absolutely punning with Rampage, and he uh, he tried to bluff Stanley Choi. And Stanley Choi heroed him for a ton of money, like 150000 with Ace Jack on like a King Jack board. That was uh, quite the interesting session. Charles with 10-9 suited. That's, that's my favorite hand. So we just got a call. Oh, Andy, Andy doesn't have stand-up either. And we got to squeeze a 6-7 off. Large. And correction, Airball's biggest loss, I forgot, was actually a million dollars in the million-dollar game. Yeah. So one of the days he lost a clean million and then quit early. Um, that was the last day of the million-dollar game, the, the, the Tom Dwan, Doug Polk game. But other than that, his biggest loss was 759 on March 17th. And he's had some big losses recently, too. He lost 346 on December 1st, 340 on October 19th. Peter got a call with the King 10 suited. Wow. Andy, three bets? Six, seven off the 20,000? I think he limped three bet too. Wow, this is a unorthodox play from Andy, not something we see too often. Charles. Charles would have had straight flush. Oh my god, you're right. Charles had <laughs> nine, ten of clubs. He Neve, Neve, zoom in on, on Charles. Let's see the reaction. He he probably can't believe this right now that he just folded a premium. I oh, mean, yeah. if Charles isn't winning so much, I'm so he probably confused. calls, right? If Charles is buried and he's yeah. deep, he never folds 9-10 suited. I'm so confused with this time. Why not Peter just bail with the king 10 Man, suited? give me 9-10 suited for 20,000 with oh, six figures in my stack. I'm not <laughs> folding that one. I've seen you put in more. Yeah, now stuff. Andy's Andy gonna get gonna bluffed. Fall. <laughs> Andy gets bluffed. Yeah. Andy, what the fuck are you doing? Huh? I have nine ten. Nine ten? Club. Why didn't you tell me I wanted to check? Oh you had nine ten of clubs? What? Yeah. Nine. Yeah, Straight yeah, flush. Check, check the video later. Confirmed. Confirms, Charles. Confirmed. Straight flush. Nine ten of clubs. Yes. Yeah, Straight flush. flush. Yes. Oh my. God, yes, you did. Bars, I would have three bet because, but I'm worried about him. Yeah. Charles was thinking about three betting too. Any kind of folding. Uh, Peter's actually plays a lot of hands, but I gotta give it to Peter. He does have a great sense of like knowing when to go for it and when not to, and he's been right most of the time. He gets in trouble when he's just paying people off or playing. You know, some bad hands pre-flop, but he gets in the heads-up spots. He has a pretty good sense of, like, when he's being trapped and to check back and to give up and when to, to bluff and get somebody to fold, so. Uh, <laughs> seven off suit. <laughs> Look at this. Airball all in now with King-10, and Andy's got ace-jack. He's not folding this one. 20 what? Huh? 20, 20 something? This is a brutal run for Airball. 23. 23,000. Twice, go. Call. Twice, go. Ace. Good. What's your kicker? Jack. Okay, I have two live cards. Two live cards. Does he say winning card? He's a jack, just a jack. Jack is a gutter. He's calling for chips already. He knows he's going to lose. He's got that negative attitude right now with how things are going. Look at this. He's like, I need chips. I know I'm going to lose. Either way, he needs them because he's only. Even if he chopped, he'd only. Oh, uh, he's, uh, that's me even if he dodge. chops, he's only going to have 23k. Dodge a king. Eight or a king or an ace. Chop it up. And they are going to chop. And he still doesn't win the button. That's right. First board. Went to Andy. I don't think he's breathing.
Double straddle. Oh, wow. Double straddles on this one, Kentucky. You're playing, Nico, you've at 50 or that's it? Oh, that's it. Andy with the premium here, ace queen. And I think Andy has a button now because he just got it last hand with that first board. So I think it's Brittany against Airball. And Little Fish. Does Little, Little Fish not have one either? Sixteen is on. Char. Yeah. Very Char. Oh. Thirty-two is on this hand. Very Char. How many big ones? Very Char. Juicy. You can go texting professor. How to play? Very Char. Juicy. It's a text professor. It's a text professor. How much big one? How many big ones do you have? Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, yeah. What is that? Is that a thirty-two hundred shuttle? There's a sixteen hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, there is. You're right. Yeah, because little fish is in the straddle, and he's got sixteen hundred in front of him. And so Charles it's putting the thirty-two. Yeah, Charles oh, putting yeah. the thirty-two. All right, so we got one, or we got a two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two here. Left, uh, three. The, the two biggest straddlers are going to go to the flop. And that favors Little Fish. He says natural and vodka. It's true. You guys are being dominated. Like it's asking. I'm not high. Nine G. Three. Fuck. We'll be need that. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five. I'm just gonna open the king jack off. Yeah. Me too. Nick is gonna defend the 8 3 offsuit. Yeah, he does not have a button. He's desperate times call for desperate measures. Gotta try to win a win a button and, and save a lot of money. Pretty with the best hand here with middle pair. Over, yeah, I mean, I think you can peel here if you're a little fish. You got a gutter, backdoor flush draw, two overs. He's got a fold. Wow, a surprising fold from little fish, and Brittany's gonna get a free button. Peter and Andy. Did Nick just lost his stand up? Did he did he just pay it out? I'm not sure actually. I think he might have been. I made a royal on turn. Uh, on the oh, the yeah, Brittany nah, won that hand. Oh, really? I think royal you're right. Let's oh. see. Yeah. He, had, he had top two or river four cards. Of, uh, Unless he was oh, paying back. I think he did. I think he did. Yep, said. you're right. Yeah, yeah he, did. he did. So Airball, yeah. not only <laughs> is he buried, <laughs> not only can he not breathe, but he just lost stand-up again. When it rains, it pours. That's right. When it rains, it pours. How do you say that in Chinese? I have no idea, I sure. Okay. 
Mariano in the chat. What's up, Mariano? Welcome. He said, tuning in for Nick's comeback. Well, we're going to need overtime for that, probably. So you're going to be here a while. Might as well grab a Snickers. That's a must for you, Andy. Wow, magical turn guard. No one else has anything, though. Yeah. Making the nuts is fun, but it sucks when nobody even has a hand they can call with. Yeah, we got a call with the... Wow, what is this call by Brittany with ace high? Brittany said, I had two pair. And he said, I had the nuts. Oh, now she's going to bet. Oh, my God. He said, I have the nuts? He said, I had the nuts. And Brittany said, I had two pair. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see how big Lily goes here. Well... I love the, the raise by Andy because everybody knows that poker players never tell the truth. Although Andy was there, but Brittany was not. And you can't really... You can't really... Lean into too much table talk what people are saying because there's so much misdirection and lying and you never know when they're telling the truth or lying about a hand in the middle of a hand. And so... You kind of have to ignore it and, and not factor in what someone's saying unless you have a really good sense for when they lie or when they tell the truth. I like how you guys just keep zooming in and like, look it up. Oh, yeah. It's a great shot. Good job by Neve capturing the emotions of Nick Airball here. You got flat to check five off. It's pretty animal. What's up, Anthony? Welcome. Thank you for Check. Check. tuning in. Check. How you doing? Check. We don't see people squeeze often enough in this game. Huh? Check. You pick up I mean, the if you, if you, sure. I mean, yeah. one of the reasons might just be because if you think about the size of the game and how big it plays compared to the stack size, even though it's much deeper today, it's still not that deep, right? Like. If these guys were a million deep or something, or 500k deep, you know, maybe you see a lot more 3-betting and 4-betting. Or maybe it's just the lineup. You know, these guys want to see flops. Charles going to bet right. the open-ended, and he's got to call the... That's a break for everyone. Wow, look at this. Nobody has a pair. See, Charles could... Whoever himself. bets wins this hand, right? Nobody has a pair. There's only 10k in there, so... Uh, the button is what's most important here. Especially for Charles and Peter. Andy, I was gonna go for it. Andy has the best hand, but this would be an incredible call. Peter can't be thinking about calling here. He's got to be thinking about raising or folding. He has a calling face on. <laughs> You guys said I was going to waste your 15k. <laughs> oh, so I have no choice. I at least full house, minimum, maybe quads. So top, top You're top running head. so good. I, I put me on top here, nine. <laughs> have a nine, ten, or... <laughs> your image is too good now. Okay. 
man, Airball really is running bad. Look at this. He's got pocket kings, and he only has eleven thousand dollars. Like that's just running bad. Nick said that he only looked at one card. He doesn't know what the other card is. Do you believe him? I I think I think that's. I believe. I'm not sure. That's it. I think I believe him. <laughs> top top for Charles, so he thinks he won. Oh. Yeah. He's chilling the car. Yeah, I don't think he, he knew. Yeah, this. I believe him. Oh. No, no queen. Club. Oh. Maybe king? Oh, yeah. Is it picture? It's club. It's club. Do you believe him? He still doesn't know? Uh, I don't think Oh, it's either. picture. It's pi okay, That's yeah. He's killing the it's card. Picture and club. He's really ruining our card, I'll tell you oh, that. Oh, my oh, fucking God. God. Oh, yeah. so, I swear to God, I always thought one. We chop, we chop. Wait, how's it chop? Oh, my God. <laughs> Four-liner on the bottom board. He's ruining our RFID <laughs> cards. Come on, Airball. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I get the button. Yeah, you got button. I'm happy for you. Imagine being buried over 200. Yes, you can finally pick up Pocket me. Kings, and you have 11k in your stack. Yeah, you, you can't even win the 11k. Queen, yeah, and Jack still King. chops. You, you cannot uh, lose. No, I can't lose. I know Literally, when no, it rains, it pours. No, 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 actually, I see club, so only king. Otherwise, I, I lose. Yeah. Because queen of no, clubs queen. is there. Okay. Queen of clubs is there. Oh. I have club. But Jack, good. Yeah, but you have straight. Oh, I had a straight. Yeah. I'm only straight. king. Otherwise, I'm dead. Yeah. I add 50. 50k, copy. Canes! They got oh, it 50. Is oh. Kings, 11, raise all in. Still chop. <sighs> Still chop. So you said we're going to stand Three of us? Or four of us? Four people, right? Three. Four people. <gasps> you, don't One, you don't have, right? Three. Oh, three, 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 three of you. Three, okay. 800. Hey, uh, pick up checks. Mm. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Huh? Mm. <laughs> 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 And this is where Peter has to figure out, do I want to try to bluff Andy? Is he ready to fold this hand? And Peter actually has a good hand to bluff, but a gutter, but a check of heart. Yeah, obviously Andy's coming along here, but this is where I mentioned earlier, like Peter by the river has to figure out if it's the right type That's of bluff or not. Like, barrel. Yeah, I mean, this is one where if Peter does bet the turn, uh, Really Andy might so call Andy. because he has a gutter, but then uh, if you bet River, you're probably going to win the hand. But if Peter checks back, I guess he could still bluff River. He's okay, he check. checks. I mean, Andy could have some ace highs. Okay, now this is a good card, right? I think it's mandatory bluff here from him. He's got a great blocker hand to bluff with, right? His hand makes sense. He blocks both straights, he blocks a flush. He has Jack high. Andy could have a 10 or Jacks or Queens. Yeah, I like it. He tends to go over bet. He loves these over bet. I love it. Now, I don't know if it's going to work, but I love this play by Peter. I think it's going to work. Andy is in a tough spot. <coughs> I feel like he's had so many King X, Ace X. Jacks without a heart. It's really hard to find bluff in this board, actually. So, yeah, I mean, he has to turn like some type of five to a bluff. There he is, call. Well played, Andy. Wow, that's a sick call. So Peter was blocking Queen Jack. He was blocking a flush. I said both Rolling. straights earlier. There was no other straight. I was thinking there was a bottom straight, but there was not. Um, Chinese straight. Yeah, <laughs> but a, that's a pretty sick call by Andy. Uh, very well played by Andy to, to figure that out and make the call. He knows Peter's been bluffing a lot tonight and yesterday, especially against Andy. He checked all three streets, and so, you know, he could argue his hand's under-repped. Peter's repping a flush or nothing there when he checks back the turn and bets the river, right? He has to think, does he have a flush when he checks back the turn? I mean, he absolutely could. It's either he has a flush or Andy wins. And 
Andy figured it out, made the call. Great play by Andy. Bump it up. I like this three bet just because little fish yeah. doesn't have a button. Let's go opening hands for your like. Like you can see, you get 10 4 off here. There it is. We got Nick Vertucci in the chat. Everyone say hi to Nick. Nick just recorded some podcasts over at his studio. If you haven't checked them out, go to the Nick Vertucci show on YouTube and check out his new content with Veronica. Talks about some hot topics. Oh, the sign guy is in the chat. Is that really the sign guy? What's up, sign guy? He was camped out here at Hustler for a few weeks with a with a sign. What's this sign? His sign was directed to Garrett. Nick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, made little waves on the internet. And then uh, he left. But he was here outside the parking lot for a few weeks every single day dedicated to his mission. I didn't see a shadow, I would have raised bigger. Nine seven king. Peter has bottom pair. Yeah, Peter's gonna get a button here. Nick, we got Zio in the booth here making his commentary debut, helping out in this this Chinese game, um, translating a lot of the conversations and jokes and whatnot. He's doing a good job of it. Peter's really aggressive for these limping spots. No one has anything. Well, fish got the boat gonna continue. <laughs> Amazing that Jack High, King High, and King High all get to the turn yeah. here. Now it just comes down to who Stop wants it. Stop and go. Oh, oh school. <laughs> nice play by Little Fish to take it down, I think, right? I mean, I think. Sure. This would be a sick call down by Peter. Doesn't look like a folder for me. That's a folding piece on there. Sala, <laughs> Oh, he's not happy. Because she lost his stand up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, there's another word I know. Toji. That's what it's talking Bluff. about. Bluff. Right? Toji? Yes, yes, Bluff? Yes. It's, it means like catch a chicken or something. Like, you st oh, it means st uh, stealing a chicken. But it means bluff. <laughs> and that somehow translates to bluff? Yes. So if you're stealing someone's chicken, that's a bluff. You're bluffing them. Yes. All right. That makes a lot of sense. Good. That must be a big thing in China, stealing chickens, huh? <laughs> Is there a lot of chicken farms in China? Yeah. <laughs> Not that I know of. Interesting how that translates. Peter kind of opened the king fight off. 
Charles picking up the pretty good hand and squeeze. Let's see if he does. Yeah, let's it. see if Charles decides to three bet this. I mean, he probably should, right? You know, like Airball's yeah, gonna three bet a lot of his good hands here on the button against Peter. And Peter opening like really like look. Yeah. You can see, it's, and Nick has a clear call here. All right, we got a Charles right. Airball battle here. Let's take a flop. Oh, okay, so, <laughs> got it two overs. I don't think Charles can the top here. What's it? Finally, Nick won a hand. It's going to be a tough battle for Airball tonight, but you know, it only takes a couple hands to get back in this game. All right, it is 7 p.m. now. All of you in the chat that promised to hit that like button because you love seeing Nick Airball buried, please hit it. I don't think all of you have hit the like button, so please, if you're enjoying the Zio commentary tonight, if you're loving the action, if you love seeing Nick Airball buried, or if you just have the ability to take your finger and click that thumbs up button, if you're not lazy enough, if you can do it, we appreciate it. Hit that like button, helps us out. That's all we ask you here for. We appreciate all of you tuning in for Hustler Casino Live. Charles picking up the Ace King here after Peter opening 3K. It's a great spot for Charles, it's similar to the last spot. Let's see how big he goes here. I think he should go pretty big. Bump it up. 26,000. I like it. Wow, really big. I should really like it. Oh, and Brittany with. Yes. Oh, Brittany snap folds snap the King Queen. Good fold by Brittany. Yeah, that's pretty good uh, hand to continue. Uh, yeah. I don't think Peter's folding his hand. Although the size is pretty. It's it is big, but massive. I don't think Peter is folding in position with these stack sizes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue. Call twenty-six. All right, that's good. Add up. C fifty-five in the middle. About uh, strong pressure. Two point eight. It's pure. That's a break for everyone. Charles has an easy spade. Pretty good quarter barrel. If Charles does bet here, it would be quite the float by Peter. No, he does Some check. Check. Let's see what Peter. I think Peter said, let's just check back. Is it time for Peter to bluff? I don't think he's gone for a big bluff against he's Charles going tonight. Again. He's done it against Andy, he's done it against Airball. I don't know if he's done it against Charles yet, I can't remember. Small but sizing. this might be the time to do it. Charles had a pretty clear call. Cool. Nice. Well, Peter has a gutter. Let's see if he triple this off. He actually has a double gutter here, right? An eight or a four. Oh, yeah. So this is a great yes. turn for Peter. And he also could just keep betting. Like, he has a, a, a range advantage against Charles. Unless he... I mean, how often is Charles going to three bet with aces, kings, queens, jacks, and then check that flop, right? So if he just knows that Charles is more likely to have a hand like ace, king, um, and then he turns this equity, I, I think you just bet. Nice barrel. I like it. And if, yeah, if, Charles, if Charles does call, then, yeah, you just give up if you don't get there. But Peter is just making the right moves, making the right bluffs. 
it's working. And, you know, when he makes a hand, he's going to get paid later because he hasn't really been making hands. He's just been bluffing and taking down pots. But when he makes a hand because of his image, because you have to show your hand and stand up a lot, he's going to get paid in a big pot at some point tonight. He's just saying that... Um, He's saying that I have so many good hands where I have these like small ca small car hands that like I will always bet too. So he, he's pretty balanced. Like he's that. just saying that he's balanced, that, yes. that he's always going to have that board. He might be a pro. Yeah, he might be a super pro. He looks like a super pro. Yep, yep, yep. And we did hit 1K likes right at 7 o'clock. So thank you, chat. Thank you, chat pros. Thank you, all the viewers, for supporting us tonight. We are, what, like two and a half years almost into Hustler Casino Live. We're probably 700 episodes in or something. And we got a lot more to go. We're only getting started. The show will get better next year. We're brainstorming right now. We got some big ideas, Nick and I. So stay tuned. This is just the beginning for High Stakes Poker Productions. So crazy, man. two and a half years. Just gonna flat that you screen here. Oh, no. And Peter got a squeeze at six A suited. See them a lot. He's very really aggressive. See if we left like that race here. He's not going to. Kalk in the middle, he just take a flop. He does out flop him. Lurkish does have the ace to heart. So what size he goes here. Seven thousand to twelve. Turn, 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 turn. He wants to turn. He wants to wrap it on. Oh. He would have got there. Mm. Uh, so I, I don't really like grab hunting. It's like an anti free roll to yourself. <laughs> if you hit it, then. To talk about getting food. What time now? Six twenty. We're now at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. 
You are taking another one down. Chicken salad with the shrimp fried rice. Uh, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably just do a Caesar. Yeah, chicken Caesar. Right there. Yeah, how's them all? See Charles opening the Ace Ace suited, and when call call and little fish gotta squeeze it. Ace nine off. He tried to attack the Charles doesn't have a button. I think Nick is gonna continue here too. So he really still flop. That's top pair. No fish takes the club with the back of flush shot. And Charles has a middle pair. Could be interesting here. Let's go with a quarter pot size. Let's see what Nick does here. There's only a pot size left. He's got a call with the backdoor flush out also. Those trips for him. About leading here? Yes. You don't see that often leading the top trips to the PFR, but it does start leading. Gotta continue with the middle pair. Mix on. Interesting river. On. Scott Jevin and also. Take it down, Nick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kego, <laughs> 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 Andy waking up with pocket aces. And he's going to open the, the smaller sizing here where some of the players opt to go bigger. He's trying to get someone to three bet. And he has them stone dead. Aces full of kings. 
哎呀,哎呀,去打一线。太大了,太大了,太大了。第一次有一点麻我有机会 This pot gets huge and Brittany just jams it in with her ace king on the turn Takes it down against Peter <笑><笑> <笑>朋友的钱好骗 Wow, look at this flop. Top pair for Little Fish and middle set for Andy. What a dream spot for Andy. Fish somehow get away from this one. Oh, yeah. oh no, not only does he not get away from it, but he jams. Huh? 156k pot, little fish almost dead. What a spot for Andy. He's going to be a big winner again. Oh. There it is. He scoops 156k pot. Andy is crushing tonight lucky 15. for the second day in a row. Lucky, lucky. Mm. 
He's gonna keep 25. He's gonna keep 25. So, yeah, good. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, ha. Uh, Say no, Right here. And you got your button back? Yeah. This is it. Oh, yeah. Button there. Button here, yeah. Button here, button here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good check, great. It's last night. Okay. Yeah. 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 Andy now up 136k. Airball down 150. Charles, spot on the V-pips. Very rare. He's winning today. Peter up there at the top at Opening up with 10 9 suited. Peter's going to defend the button. Nothing going for Peter. And he checks it over. It's, it's been the theme tonight. And now Peter turns a pair and he's going to check it again. Interesting trips for Andy. Peter knows he's unlikely to win, but he does check it back. Peter, <laughs> 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 Brittany, I'll show you. Today, I'll take you to the car. Can you? Can you take the car? 
一千二十 AA 啊，嗯，一千一千一千 AA， 两千的 KK。Gutter for Andy is the best hand. They should end the hand unless somebody's up to no good. Yeah. <laughs> Middle pair for Charles. Let's see if Little Fish wants to make a move. He's been having a rough night so far tonight. He's going to float here out of position with the jack four off. And he turns a gutter. Oh, I don't think Charles is folding if you lead here, but it could be a cool play by Little Fish. Yeah, it's definitely a cool play. I like it, but I don't think it's going to work. The game has definitely gotten more intense, and everyone's kind of like, locked in in the zone more. At the beginning, everyone was kind of gambling and laughing and talking a lot. It's gotten quieter. You got little fish getting a massage. Everyone's locked in right now. It's gotten very serious. I mean, now if little fish bet big, like it would be a very tough spot for Charles. But let's see if he has it in him. All in would be the only play here. Oh no, he's giving up, no confidence. I don't know Chinese, but, and Zio's out of the booth right now, but I assume he said something like, oh, I wanted to bluff, I wanted to jam. And Charles is saying, I'm not full. Okay, Four. 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 Four.
。我操！调皮捣蛋，你到底是谁的人啊？我操！哦，什么东西奥运？你搞屁！哎，小鱼啊，你这瞎搞啊！我这个 A A A 是圈哦，真的假的啊？我抢鱼啊！没鱼啊！你瞎搞瞎，瑞士，我去吃饭了。好，谁去吃饭？你也去吗？我打，我去了，我们人不够了，我们继续打。你可以拿，不认识的队伍。给我，给我，给我。来，准备。高手走了，加油。Zio's back. He's back for the translating. I just guessed what they were saying. Oh, there's Irma, the masseuse, getting a shout out. There she is. She is working Little Fish's neck there. She is just absolutely going in. She's got her game face on. Queens. Oh wow! Air ball with pocket queens puts in the three bet. Oh, Peter makes the fold. Rolls got some chips in front of him now. Makes some moves. It's back in the game. On a little upswing. How much is in for? I'm not sure, but I want to say he's in for 300, so he might not be down that much anymore. 15 on top. This is London. London's chair. Yes. I've never seen it. Oh yeah, I missed this hand. So he he won he won 148k pot. Or it's actually 100. Hundred twelve, hundred twelve k, and then he bet thirty five in the river uh, with trips. Charles correctly folded, uh, and he, so that one got him back in the game. That was a big pot for him. He made seventy thousand in that hand. Nicer than American money for sure. So that was a huge spot for him, and uh, things are starting to trend the right way for Nick Airball. But the chat is voting hell no. <laughs> on if will will Nick Airball get unstuck tonight? Only 32% are believers right now. Interesting turn card. And uh, Little Fish does not love that turn, but he's going to make the call. And two pair now for Peter, the runner, runner, two pair. Back to two pair. Oh, man, Little Fish is just. Had a rough outing tonight. And let's see if he can somehow get away from this one. Oh man, he pays it off. Peter, I mean, this is a small pot, but I mentioned earlier how eventually he's going to get paid in a big pot because he's just uh, showing so many bluffs. And if he knows his image, and if he just has it the rest of the night, he's bound to make a comeback. That is the face of a man who was buried and is now halfway unburied. Who's that? Are you there? Ace 10 of diamonds for air ball. He's going to put the three bet in. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Peter's going nowhere with Ace-4 suited. It's a matter of call or or four bet. This is a small three bet for this game. Hello, 
Fest mit dem Paul. Das ist auch Foppen. Wow, Peter with a four has the best hand now. Your ball's gonna bet. For a half pot. Seven of clubs on the turn. Peter now improves to a flush draw to go along with his four. He's got a lead this turn. Wow, so the check call lead and air ball's gonna fold. Well done by Peter. I don't understand. It's a bad flow, man. It's kind of bad. You guys are too good. Can we tomorrow with you guys? May I get a seat? You can get a seat. Thank you. Just joining us, it's 200, 400, plus a $1,000 progressive stand-up game. That means that every time somebody wins a hand, they're effectively winning $1,000 extra on top of the pot. The last person to not win a hand pays out all of the buttons. So that means a minimum 1K per person, plus if anybody has multiple, there's extra. And he has so another set here. Another set here for Andy. Wow, he had eights just a little while ago against top pair. And now Peter's the one with top pair against Andy's middle set. And Peter sometimes raises in the spot. He makes the call. Little Fish might come along as well with bottom pair, thinking that if he improves, he's good. Yes. Interesting turn. That should end the hand, you would think. Although Andy bet's really small, so maybe Peter thinks that his 10 could be good here. Interesting sizing that Andy chose, possibly to induce. So continue. He's got a raise. Wow, it actually worked. Andy strategically bets really small to hope to induce one of his opponents, and it actually works. Unbelievable. Two opponents drawing dead. One of them puts in a raise. Now the question is, does Andy just call or does he three bet? If he thinks Little Fish has a big hand, he's going to put in a raise. If he thinks that he doesn't, that he's drawing dead, well, of course he knows... A lot of hands are drawing dead here, but if he thinks that Little Fish has a yeah. hand he's gonna fold to a re-raise with, then he'll just call, and he does correctly just call. And now Little Fish has less than pot left. And will he go for it on this river is the question. Will Andy even check it over? And he might just jam it in, hoping that Little Fish doesn't fold an ace. <coughs> Got bad in the annoying side. He does That's jam it in, in, so yeah, Little Fish has a three. I, I don't think he's ever calling here, but he put himself in this spot. It would have been interesting to see 
what he would have done if Andy did check to him. He said that you had set. So he knows. He has a feeling it's a set. Makes the fold. Andy confirms, shows it. Hello, 8 2 days 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 2 Peter wins on the lower. Jack four. So it looks like Little Fish lost this round of stand-up and he's going to have to pay out. So we'll start a new stand-up game round now. 1K per person, progressive. You can win multiple buttons. Peter opening 10-7 of diamonds on the button. Airball puts in the free bet with king-queen. And Peter's not going to fold this one. I haven't seen Peter fold a three bet yet. Ooh, that's a big flop. Look at this. Airball with the nuts. Peter's got middle pair, backdoor flush draw. He has a gutter, too. Also a, uh, a gutter. Bad angle gutter. So Peter does call. Airball with the nuts. 40K in the middle. It would be interesting. Ooh, a diamond on the turn. Okay, lock in. Pair and a flush draw for Peter. Airball with the nuts. Wow, airball puts in the check. That's amazing. 
Is Peter going to take the free card or is he going to fall for it? Because if he <laughs> falls for it, Airball probably is going to check jam and Peter's going to be in a rough spot. Yeah. He has decided bet. Great check by Nick Airball. Music in his ear. Uh, I don't think he can jam. It's cute jam, but yeah, Peter's sizing doesn't really allow Airball to jam. He can check raise. He's but gonna check raise. Yeah, but he's gonna check raise and put him in a rough spot. So fifty-two. So twenty thirty-five to win. Yeah, it, it's unlikely that Peter's gonna fold here. The question is, does he want to jam or does he want to just call? I, I like calling here. Yeah, I don't think he's able to jamming. Okay. We got 144k in the middle lock-in chat. Here we go. Break. Oh, the seven gives Peter two pair, but it does put a four liner out there. Can Peter ever get away from this for about half pot? On. Does get a call. Wow, Peter pays it off. $297,000 pot for Nick Airball. He is back. He's back? He's back. He's back. <laughs> Nick Airball can finally breathe. I think that gets him unstuck, no? It's pretty close. And it's a humble Nick Airball here. No celebration. Very mild-mannered. And Nick Airball takes down the biggest pot of the night. $297,000. Yeah. Airball was stuck over 200k earlier. Oxygen tank was on the way. We ordered it from DoorDash. It was coming. He said, no, 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 no. I don't need it. I think I'm okay. You want a couple hands. And then this hand gets him unstuck. And now he's breathing just great. Nick Airball out of the hole, oh, down just $3,000. He is even right now. Wow, what a comeback, but it is still early. We still have plenty of time left in the show, but already an amazing comeback. Peter now down 225. Andy and Charles both up over 100 What happened with Brittany? What do you mean? She, she's, not there. she's not there anymore. She, yeah, she's taking a break. But she's up 70K. She's taking a walk. I anticipate Airball is going to take a walk soon, too. <laughs> after that pot, I assume he's... After the stand-up round, I would bet even money that he takes a break. What kind of walk? Jeremy walk? Or? No, it's the opposite. It's, it's like, a, it's like a, I'm excited. I'm going to go tell Randy Rubin in the corner about this pot I just won and how I'm unstuck. And I'm going to go walk outside. I'm going to smoke. I'm going to yeah. talk to the, the chat pros at the table in the crystal room and let everybody know that I'm the best again and I'm back and I can breathe. That's the walk that Airball is about to take. He would already be taking that walk right now if it wasn't for stand-up game. I mean, he still might. He, like, he's safe, so he might just leave. He might anyway. just leave right now. Yeah, that's, that's called a, a victory lap. Mother. That's the biggest pot Airball's won on the show in a while. Can't remember the last time he won a 300k pot. And we're going to get a dealer change here. Lauren out, Magic back in. And we are back again tomorrow. It says 100, 200, but this is not 100, 200 anymore. It's 200, 400 tomorrow. 50K min, 200, 400, 1K progressive stand-up, massive, massive game. Honestly, one of the bigger games we've run on Hustler Casino Live, all things considered. The swings, the stakes, the st <laughs> it's a huge game. Tune in tomorrow for the final day, day three of this three-day <laughs> marathon run with these players and these stakes. And then we'll be off next week for the holidays. We'll be back January 2nd, off Monday, January 1st as well. So Tuesday, January 2nd, we will be back after tomorrow's show. The same lineup tomorrow? The same lineup tomorrow, and I think we are adding a seventh player, Yoda.
Yeah. Remember Yoda, he played a few times before, Japanese guy. Nick just was just talking about that kind of he did. Peter said I wouldn't bet if it wasn't a diamond. That's what Peter said? Yeah. So I wouldn't bet if it wasn't a diamond. Nick was saying that if diamond comes, he was too jam. I don't blame him. Well, large. And he comes in with a... Do you bet? Yeah. With a 10 ace Come on me, huh? Hey, one day left. Now we can see some more, <coughs> more three bat, three more post swap play. Yeah, One to stack, guess keeper. Oh, Nick has the full gear on again. The hat. The bear hat is back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. He's back. The mouth might be back too. Soon. Oh look. Now all of a sudden the uh, the chat is believing more that they now they saw the hand the hell no percent is going down but yes I believe is going up we're gonna end that play. It's like it's a Monday betting. morning quarterback. Big, big win. Yeah. It's like you can't bet in the third quarter. Yeah, you can't bet <laughs> like when they came back already. Don't worry guys, we will have a stream next week. We'll air some uh, some of our better shows, some replays. So you'll have something to watch. The live chat will be up. We'll have some replays next week to so fulfill your needs before we come back from the holidays on January 2nd. Brittany is back. Brittany is back. She doesn't know about the hand yet. Okay, not much fish. Who's going to tell her? You could stay right here on the Hustle Casino Live channel next week. We will have some replays with live chat all week at 5 p.m. Pacific. You're so right. He's Told taking you. a walk. Errol is taking a break. He's taking a walk. He is taking a long break. He is going to go celebrate. <laughs> I think he just called Randy, too. Randy's his friend that plays on the floor. And I think he's telling him right now about this hand and how he's unstuck and can breathe. I don't know. Let me have a 50. Would you have bet me that Airball, that he was taking a walk if I gave you no, even money? I, I mean, I don't, I don't know about it. But Peter is checking if Nick is unstuck or not right now. Oh, yeah. Who's he talking? Oh, he's going outside to smoke. Oh, there's Randy. Oh, there he is. I called it. There's Randy Rubin. He's going outside to he's smoke. <laughs> I told you. I knew it. I, how, I, I didn't know this. I've been here at the booth the whole time. Yes. And I can see the future. I just know Airball yes. that well. Good shot, Neve. Look at that. Neve, somehow me and Neve were on the same... The same uh, <laughs> wavelength there, and we knew what was going to happen. I wish we had the, I wish we had Nathan or Raver on the roaming cam out there outside to interview Airball while he's smoking outside. That would have been great content right there. But thank you, Nee, for getting that shot. Classic Nick Airball. I know him too well. You know, listen. If I didn't dust that hand against him with a straight flush. <laughs> to win every hand against him. I just know him too well. Peter's not going to fold the jack 10 off because he's <laughs> probably stuck. you like that that coverage that Neve had there, Nick? It's a good shot of Randy Rubin and, and Airball going outside to celebrate and talk hand histories, huh? 
输最多是六十。And he's talking about the losses. 七十块八十的八十，最输最多八十。About who's winning and losing? No, talking about himself. Like how much he won the most, how much he lost the most on the show. Yeah, he's 比较疯。Peter got three betters. Jack tens. Oh, we got the same hand here. And he's definitely um, had some big wins, some big losses on the show. More so the big losses. He said he just won like decent amount recently. Like uh, Andy. Recently. So Andy lost 470 uh, on November 30th. And he's had the one show right before that and the three shows since then. Uh, he's or, or actually... We don't have last week's on here. So maybe the four shows since then, or five shows, maybe. He's, he's won over six figures. So, yeah, he is on a bit of an upswing after going through a fairly bad stretch for a while. Quack, quack, quack. And if you go back all the way to May 12th, he lost 492K. That was the, the show with Brad when Andy was just firing. Snap call from Bernie. Yeah, but actually, I forgot. Andy does, did have that one show recently. I think it was two Fridays ago with Rampage and Jungle where he lost a few hundred thousand. I think he came back a bit, but he did lose a, a big amount that show. So he's had actually two big losses in the last few weeks. Or was this the Rampage? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Never mind. The, the 470 was the Rampage show. So, yeah, that was, that was already factored in. So, all right, since the 470 loss, he's won a few in a row. So he's, he's won all that back and then some up until this exact moment. But Andy definitely knows how to swing. But when he's composed, when he's on tilt, he's one of the best players on our show. That's for sure. Yeah, any Andy funny story? What did you say? Yeah, any any funny story of of Andy? Funny stories? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure you have some funny stories. I'm asking you to. <laughs> We did used to play a lot of 5, 10, 10, 20 back in the day at the bike. We used to battle it out a lot. He would get tilted and try to convince me to play heads up. At the end of the session, I wouldn't want to. I would do it anyway just so he didn't tear my head off. That's not funny. That is top player. Kicking down. Good. And you pay? You, 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 me, me, please. Yeah, and all right, you, you, Carl. Mm -hmm. Game's off for five minutes. Can I go? 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 Can I Oh, 哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！哎呦！
yeah, so the, the stand-up game is on all the time unless they all agree to take a short break for bathroom breaks and whatnot, and then as soon as everyone's back, they'll restart it again. 5,000. Oh. And Little Fish with a straight. That's paid. That's paid. That's paid. That's paid. That's paid. That's paid. Alright, so everyone's taking a quick bathroom break. We'll be short handed, super short handed here. And then everyone will be back in the next five minutes and we'll start to stand up again. How surprised are you guys in the chat that Airball got back to even that quickly? I mean, I did not see that coming. Down over 200, it's usually a rough night for Airball. Maybe he comes back a little bit, but to win it all back, get back to even in a matter of, what, less than two hours? That was, that was pretty impressive. Let's see if he can keep it up and ride the momentum and uh, somehow come out with a win tonight. Okay. Okay. Back on. Nope. All right, everyone's back already. That was quick. No, I'm like... Oh, yeah, they might be doing it without Airball. Airball might be taking an extended victory <laughs> lap <laughs> break here. He's not hurrying back for nothing. Game's on now? Yeah, five-handed. They're going to do it without Airball. <laughs> Five. You have to go East King to be down. Okay. Too bad or not? Much, much better. Let's put a new poll up in the chat. How long before Nick Airball's back at the table? It's still under. It's been gone for a while. Yeah, how long has it been? 10, 20 minutes? No, it's been, let's see. Let me see how long it's been so we can do it after here. Uh, was it right here? Oh, there he is. All right, that's where it was. So they finished the round. So it's been like 13 minutes, 12 minutes, something like that. So let's say, let's see, 15, 20 minutes. So that would include the 12 minutes that already passed. So like in the next five minutes he comes back, 20 to 30 minutes. 
30 to 45 minutes. 45 minutes plus. What do you guys think? How long of a victory lap break does he take? 45 minutes would be an insane break for a six-handed game. So I think, wow, half the people so far said 45 minutes. <laughs> sure, but again, 45 yeah, 20 minutes. to 30 has got to be the favorite because for 15 to 20, he's got to be back in like five minutes. Charles. Oh, he's back. Oh, man. All right. It's already over. 15 to 20. You guys win. Ending the, the poll. He's back. It was like maybe in 14 minutes. 15 at most. Seven thousand. Okay, take it, take it. How much? 10. 10,000. 10,000. Pardon. Good. 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 Now it'll be interesting to see how Airball plays the rest of the night. Does he more. get more aggressive, play more hands? Does he play more careful to lock up the what do you think? The the unstuckedness. I don't know. I think he's gonna play pretty solid, pretty careful. And then if he starts winning a bit, I think you could see him turning it on and start to be more aggressive if he's really deep. But we shall see. So they're back on, air ball's back in, here we go. Gutter for Charles, middle pair for Airball. Jack is not the card Airball wants to see here. See the double barrel here? Check. Oh, the 10 on the river. A straight for Airball and Charles checks it back. I think he's winning now. He is unstuck. Airball's winning. He's in for 300. He's breathing great. Thank you. 
Check. 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 Three thousand. Crazy, eight thousand. But there's no graphics. And Charles is going to take this one down. Is it two pair? I think it's two pair. It's like jack four. Something two pair. We had a guess the whole card. What's that? I guess we had to oh. guess their whole cards. Oh yeah. We'll be on this angle for a minute. Akil said this camera angle looks amazing. Shout out to Neve, our director. Check, check. We'll have graphics off for a couple hands here and watch from this angle. Peter betting 4K, Charles calls, and Brittany calls. Brittany calls as well. That's a four. Looks like, Looks like Jack seven, Jack. Seven deuce Jack Jack. And Brittany, and Brittany has queen deuce, bottom pair, <laughs> and she's going to lead out. 5K in the turn, they both fold. She takes it down and... Looks like what's going on here. Charles getting changed. So it looks like Little Fish, Charles. Last game chip change. Yeah, I don't know why. Little Fish, Charles, and who else is left here? Um, or whose button is that? Oh, that's Brit that's that's Nick. Hold on, the button in the middle. That's Charles. Okay, but Brittany definitely has one. So Andy's still in. Yeah. Andy, Peter, and Little Fish. Andy, P yeah, that's what it looks like. Andy, Peter, and Little Fish. Charles gonna open five K. Here's 10K. Here we go. Here we go. Peter with pocket eights. Is he going to call or three bet here? Is the question. Charles with PJX suited. I don't think Charles is folding a three bet. Looks like Peter going to put in a three bet. 22K, it looks like. 17K? We talk about Brittany's sister. Who's that? Brittany's sister? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know, but New B played last night, but that was not her sister. Was that, her sister? that was her friend. Let's go. And uh, she was she was fun to watch last night. She was. Charles got defend the queen chest suited to a three bet. Oh, look at this flop! The straight for Charles, right away. She did that knock of the diamond. Check. Charles running pretty good today. Uh, 
Someone asking in the chat if we had a hard time filling live stream seats. No, that, that's not what this is. This group wants to play shorthanded, so they prefer to play six, seven handed. You know, they only want certain players that they enjoy playing with to play. There's a million people in LA that would love to play in this game right now. I promise you that. <laughs> that has nothing to do with it. But the short, with this style, the size, the 1K stand up, this crew, uh, shorthanded makes the game way more action. And uh, these guys enjoy playing shorthanded. They had eight yesterday, it was gonna be seven. Um, they added an eighth, another one of their friends came yesterday. Uh, two of those players, one left town, one chose not to play today, and so they decided that instead of adding another player, they wanted to play six-handed. That's what all the players wanted to do. It's more action this way. You see the hands, you see the pots, you see the action, the V-pips, everyone's 45% or higher. You know, it's a lot of players like six, seven max poker. It's just uh, you could play more hands as opposed to nine-handed where you have to play really tight, which these guys don't want to do. Peter's thinking about bluffing with the ace of diamond. He is going for it, but he wants into it. But there's there's only two diamonds on the board, so uh, ace oh. of diamonds doesn't really do anything here. He's really blocking with a seven, right? <laughs> I misread it for Yeah, it's all good. Mr. Fish with a six. He's got the, or little fish rather, with a six. He's got the best hand. I don't think he can call, especially with Brittany behind. Two X pot for Peter. This is. This guy is pretty sick. This is ambitious. He just doesn't think anyone would chat back a jack. Um, doesn't think that me, my ex, would just be a tough spot. He's thinking about calling here. And <laughs> Nick just grabbed his hand and sweat it. <laughs> yeah, if you think that there's any <laughs> poker player that can afford these stakes in LA or anywhere nearby that wouldn't want to play in this game, then you're out of your mind. <laughs> That's yeah. not the issue here. I can confirm that. <laughs> You'd want to play yourself, right? Yeah, I'm Chinese too. He does make the call. <laughs> wow, what a call wow. by Little Fish. Are you kidding me? 2x spot. That is an absolutely insane call. Maybe the call of the night from Little Fish. That is just wild. And Peter is buried now. Wow. Did you say Nick, you should have told me what like his hand? I would have just went on. I would do that. call. Crazy call. I said, you any chips left? I said, one. I hope they translate that interaction correctly. I guess I did. I'm not sure, Nick. <laughs> Is that all it was? Just him asking if she has any chips? Yeah. No, she's... Peter said, like, do you have any more chips? And she said, like, I have one. Oh. <laughs> Drawing dead. Drawing dead. Drawing dead. Drawing dead. <laughs> <laughs> Little fish saying that, I just give it all, give it, give it to Andy. Why would I do that? Uh, <laughs> he's saying that he can't really get it back from Andy, but he wanted to give it to some, everyone else because he can get it back. Little fish? Yeah. Said that? <laughs> Okay, shot the top pair, join that, join that. Uh, 70. 
It's only that you are not sure. Oh, that was when Little Fish shoved the Queen 10 and he had pocket 8s. Yes. On 10-8. <laughs> and he asked, do you want me to fall? <laughs> yeah, so you go all in, I was still call. He, he only has 48 back. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like a little more than that. It looks like 5, looks 6, like 7. Five looks like 76 there, I want to say. No, he has or 66. He has 80, 86 back. 86? I think it's 86. Right? He's got a fall. Yeah, you should have seen it. There's a tiny bit more than it says, but not much for Peter. Oh, it was Peter and Andy left. Ah, so Peter just wants to, to win a hand so he can win the button before he adds on. Okay, no fish. Okay, no fish. You gotta go get some chips. Well, but Peter won that hand, right? No fish game. Yeah. So does that end the stand-up round? <laughs> yes. Okay. I think Andy just played it. Yeah. And now Nick is start talking right now. It was pretty quiet for a while. Is <laughs> this live? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Home or away? No, away. I want to see this. I want to see this. No, I want to see this. I can see this. I can see this. This is the Vegas. Yeah, I can talk about Lakers game. Christmas. Oh, Lakers, Lakers. I want to see Celtics. Is that right? What is she? She's talking about the Lakers. She's talking about Lakers. She's. I guess they're going to a Christmas game. Oh wow! Who are the Lakers playing? I think Christmas? Uh, Celtics. Yeah, in LA. Wow. Yeah. Denver's playing late, uh, Warriors. Okay. <clears throat> Mm. What do you have? No. Yeah. Spring roll. Mm. Spring roll. You will come back, right? Look. You see? You will come back. Hey, yo. Fish on? Fish on. Fish on. Okay, fish on. Fish on. Don't be gone. Andy, now you can buy back 100 if you want. Oh. Take a... Take a... Take a... Alright, game's on? Yeah. You're in? 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 Game this on. Oh, Shema, I never had it before. Good. 1600. And you gotta open oh. the King Jack. Peter, how much you have? 300. 300k. Peter gotta flat the King 3 off, okay. 16, yeah? Yeah. yeah. He just added so he added 300. 300. There 300k you go. for Peter, so game on. There's a lot of money on the table now. I think well we over a million. I think we gotta see more posts. Four if you play. What do you got in the race? Is it what happened? All right, we're fixing the graphics here. Let's see what happens. See if we can piece it together. Nope. Then call. Queen 662. Okay, spin. so it's just 1600 in call. So flush draw here for Brittany. And she's got to lead into the field. Take it down. Nice hand. <coughs> I think there's about 1.4 million on the table right now, <coughs> six-handed, as you see Peter added on 300, so about 1.4 on the table, I believe, six-handed, that means the average stack now is over 200k, 
about 230 something thousand. And we started off where the minimum was 50k, and Peter's the only one that bought more. He bought 100. So, the sacks have gotten a lot deeper. The game is playing bigger. We have another hour and a half plus left in the game. We could see some really big pots. Well, shout out to Kelly Shields. <laughs> Chat pro member 14 months said, I appreciate watching HCL chat with y'all. Finish up 2023 strong. Tell your loved ones you love them and never forget. Yellow chips are $5. Thank you, Kelly. Shout out to you. All right, Brittany making a 15K with Ace King and Charles' pocket aids, but she made it really big. Let's see. What he wants to do here. Wow. Oh, Charles just fold. Wow. Full. wow. <laughs> we need Professor Charles. Professor in San Jose. Professor would be perfect for this game. All in every hand. Try to win the button. Not gonna work here. That's all fucking though. Middle pair here for Charles. has one over. He's got a full game down, Charles. The, the stand-up game definitely makes the game interesting because it, it kind of like incentivizes you a little bit less to slow play and trap and play pot control yeah. because you have that extra incentive of 1,000 per hand, which really the swing is a, a, like 10,000 if you lose the round, right? If you look at the winnings here, Andy, the big winner up 147, Peter down 283, Airball now winning. So it kind of like makes you fast play a little bit more. Yeah. Um, protect your equity because winning a hand is just yeah. so much more valuable. Check check out the V-pips here. Peter, 64%. Andy and Airball at the bottom. Brady, Little Fish, Peter, all 50% plus. Or is it the other way around when you want to trap someone that who doesn't have button, then you want to slow play more hands? Yeah, it definitely adds a lot to the dynamic and the strategy of the up. game. See Charles and Brittany with a button so far. <laughs> so take it. I'll give you a button first. Peter gets oh, one as well. Folded in nine hands suited. Wow. Wow. What? One family would put his half network on that. It's true. It's true. Indeed. All right. So we got Andy, Little Fish, and Airball left here as Charles walks away from the table for a minute. Oh, Charles is back. Mike X in the chat, the legend. Mike X. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> him. He played on Tuesday this week. Nick is talking to some hen. Pammy donating $50. Thank you, Pammy. Pammy said Ramsey's watching today with us. RIP, one year. RIP That's Ramsey. right. RIP Ramsey. Friend of the poker community, lost way too young. Definitely very sad. 
Nine nine deuce flop here. Charles with the best hand. Check check. So bluff it pretty high. Realizing that Charles had a bunch of ace high. Wow, and Charles, non-believer, he's gonna call. Let's see if Peter goes for it again in the river or gives up. No, he's he gives up. Give up. Interesting. Is Charles put in a rally bet? He does. Wow. That was interesting. That was like clicking button. Isn't it interesting how the game was way more social and talkative and laughing and messing around at the beginning and now it's just way more like serious and quiet, everybody kind of not talking, in the zone, thinking more, right? Yeah. Especially when they stack up deeper. It's almost like we're on the final table now. You can see Bernie flat a lot of good hand like this. She does. She's looking to back jam. She's looking to, yeah. to back raise. Interesting and spot here. Yeah, let, let, let's see what happens here. If Little Fish decides to three bet, he could go either way. But if he decides to three bet here, it, depending on his size, is Brittany gonna just call or is she gonna back raise? Okay, he just calls, so call. we're not gonna back, find yeah. out. Oh, a set, set for Little Fish on nice. a very dry board. Nobody with a king though. That's anything. He needs somebody to turn something. That's an open ender, That's open for, ender Peter. for Peter. He checks again. Oh, wow. Is he going to check raise Peter here? <coughs> See what Peter takes a free oh, oh, he does. Wow. How savvy was that? Full house now for Little Fish again. See, he checks again. Nobody with anything, though. So, I mean, if he could see the cards, he would check a third time. But. I think he could block here. I don't like this. I mean, I don't blame him for, for betting. I mean, he checked twice and nobody did anything. He's got to try to get value at some point. But it is a little frustrating when you make such a big hand and you're buried and you, you just can't get any action. So you're trying to chop you guys so hard and no one has anything. Zio with the translation. We have to have to pull. Actually, I'll do a four bet. Is King explain? No, it's five. Oh, I think they talk about going to Vegas. Can I join you guys? Another game. We have another, we will have another game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is the Andy. Five way pass here. Charles got a glove the queen off. All right, Little Fish definitely going to call here. What's Nick thinking? What, what's Airball doing with King High? Nick's got a Wow, Nick call? makes the correct call, but Little Fish has the best hands. I don't know how Airball's calling with King High in a three-way pot. 
but he somehow figured it out and made the right call. But Little Fish was behind him with a jack. Wild hand. We talk about going to Vegas Friday, I mean Saturday. You're limping the check fight off. Limp calling the check fight off. Okay. We're gonna continue with the back on the flush off. Yeah, chat. Mike X wants to wants to commentate. What do you guys think? Would you rather have Mike X play or commentate? <laughs> you guys decide. Let me know in the chat. Nick Ace. does have the best Ace. hand. Ace seven. Oh, you win. I win. Nice. Okay, it down. Let me know. We'll put a pull up, Mike. We'll let the chat decide. If they choose commentate, then you're a commentator next year. If they choose play, you're a player next year. No, no, no. There's no both. It's a full time job to commentate. We need you committed. You can't just bet flop and give up. Yes, worth it. Upload just paste your entire your entire resume in the chat. We'll all read it together. That's not a set for Andy. Oh, Mike, I got an idea. So we got Zio today. Oh, there, sorry. Let me, let me get back to that in a second. Get back to uh, what I'm going to say after this hand because we got a set for Andy and top pair for Peter. Andy running hot. He's got a bunch of sets tonight. They're common, commenting on it earlier how many sets he's had. Not a 5K? <laughs> I don't know what the hell they're doing right now. Mm. Oh. Besides this thing, we decided to go here. Twenty-five. All right, and he's just gonna try to win a small amount here. Oh, twenty-five. I thought he bet five again. Twenty-five k. All right, that's a respectable size in the river. You don't set, huh? He said that you had a set again. How smart is he? And you say yes. Wow. Peter knows. And he asks, "What do you have?" And you say you had an eight. Okay, now Peter's analyzing the hand. <laughs> Peter can figure this out and make the fold. It'd be pretty impressive. Peter said. Peter said you either had a set or pocket sixes or pocket sevens. I don't know how he came up with that, but one of them is true. Then you say, what do you have? He did not want to tell him. I had it. And he said, like, nine's not good. So Andy told him a nine's not good? He said, nine's not good. Peter is deep in the tank. 
Fucking good fold. Good fold. Oh, good good fold, Peter. <laughs> Set again. Oh, How hot is Andy running today? I mean, Andy probably cost himself by talking so much, but maybe he was trying to be nice and didn't mind. So what I was going to say, Mike X, is we have Zio here. He's a player. He's guys commentating because we need someone to translate the Chinese. So when we get the all-Persian game where everyone's speaking Farsi, we will get you for sure up here if you're not playing in it. And we'll get you to do the guest commentary so you can translate everything. That's fair, right? Same as what Zio's doing. On Kareem? Fuck. Against him, nothing you can do. Go against anyone, nothing you can do. Almost 300 kick out. And Arya? Uncle. Mando asked if you were playing tournaments at the win last week. Me? Yeah. Yes, I was. Was it? Someone in the Kareem chat said? must have saw you at the win. Uh, I guess I was. Oh, yeah. He's going to come hi here and buy him 10 million and show me what real action is. Yeah. That's what he said. I said, okay, we can. 10 million, he said. I said, okay, I'll play. <laughs> so he said, he said, once I sell my businesses and I don't need employees, I'm going to come, I'll come play with you, Hudson, I'll buy 10 million and show you what action is. He said, it'll be a circus game. I said, okay. <laughs> I'm here for the 10 million giveaway. What does he do? Oh, Airball's talking again. He must he be unstuck. He must be winning, huh? He must be winning, huh? Maybe he can come here and come to my house and buy $1,000,000. Let's say that... Someone's... I don't, I don't think I need a chance to say that. Pretty impressive, he's like pretty fluent in Chinese. How do I do a work on the way to Is that their name? Mendo? Yeah, he, Mendo said that, uh, I assume that's a he, I'm not sure, but works at the um, win and, and saw you. I appreciate it. I didn't, uh, I didn't catch the, the 10K. You didn't win the 5 million? No, I was trying to. Win. <laughs> you better fall, right? Yeah. I, I, I saw your hand. Sorry. Okay. Pretty honest yeah, for little fish. My fault. Say, sorry, yeah, it's yeah, no, it's my fault. It's my fault, not your fault. Charles guess it, but anyway. Who's left? Uh, when you today, I've had that Peter's talking about a 10 7 hand. He said that he could have checked the turn. <laughs> and like this bullshitting, he said that you played it perfect. Peter said, I don't have a button. He said, I don't have a button. Now, what will you do? And Nick said that I don't have button, I had to raise. And Charles picking the ace king here, pretty good spot. Defense. He's got a call. That's surprising. What's Peter going to do here? He's got a call. <laughs> Um, Peter is saying that if someone defend for him, then he doesn't need to call anymore. Defend means that because he doesn't have button, then someone else could have a chance to not let Nick win the button. Let's see a bad call here from Charles. Nick's gonna check back. Let's see if Charles can fire a check here. Yeah, Charles might make some money if he checks, but he does decide to bet, and that's gonna. 
in the hand, I assume. Nick has some crazy thought. Oh, nope. so All right, and Nick Airball does give it up. All right, we did a new chat, a new uh, poll in the chat, Mike X. See, if you, you told me to ask the chat if they want you to guess commentate once a month. So I put a chat up, or a poll up in the chat, and we'll see what they say. Free money giveaway. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see. The chat will... The chat will decide, Mike. What do you guys want? You want the free money giveaway, the guest commentate, or the catered dinner? You guys decide. Peter and what Nick. do we want Mike X to do once a month? So is it Peter and Nick left now? Peter and Nick now, they're going at it. So they're both limping in there with 8-4 off and 6-7 six, six, seven seven off. So we got a limp pot that's good for Peter and Nick. They both can make straight. Um, very interesting. Peter has a middle pair. Nick has a pair in the gutter. See a back call here. Queen on the turn. Peter decide check, check, check. See when Nick turns it. No, oh, wow. Well, these are the last two left, and they just check they it just down. Interesting. Yeah. They're both happy with their showdown value, and now Nick's going to lose. So Nick has to pay stand-up game as Peter takes it down. He's stuck again. Yes, Nick is stuck again. Nick he is pays stuck again. everyone out. Do you guys keep track of, like, how much he pays? Uh, it's it, it gets reflected in the winnings, but I'm not keeping track of like who's lost the most or how much people have won or lost from stand up. We don't we ha we haven't kept track of the stats individually. We have to go back and watch it all and write it down. But but, but added to the stack. But it's added to their stack. Oh, it's taken away from their stack. Yeah, it's reflected good. in the winnings. Yes. I think that's good enough. Yeah. So there's a new round. Charles definitely gonna open the queen turn off here. Yeah, defending the jacks. You can see this huge open day. So Peter with the flush shot. See side chat race. He, he, he calls. Oh, oh, no, no. To make a gutter. Charles got a double barrel with this. For the ten of diamond, two overs. This big one was putting spies pretty loose. Let's so see if Charles. So see Charles if Charles decided to pluff a bit. If he thinks he has to, he is. We're trying to make a five to four or three. Not sure. Yeah, but. Hey, this is too I thought he was bluffing too. This I don't have choice. I had to keep firing. Peter oh. said he's tilted right now. Um, Nick opens the king job off. Little fish three by the ace ten off. Bernie got a four card of King Queen suited, and now Andy comes with a four bag of Ace Queen suited. And now. So we're early in this stand up round, so people don't have to fight as much for a button. Yep. So you, you don't need to assume, like, somebody's three betting light. Yeah. You know, this is more real poker in the early stages. Let's see if, see if Bernie if defend this. Bernie should be defending this, I would, I would hope. Yeah, she's gonna call. Um, yeah. Actually, it's not a good hand to defend four bet though. We can consider. Yeah, true. 
Uh, Especially against Andy, who's going to be on the tighter side of the four bats, right? Yeah. So. Especially with cold four, that you want to have hands like... Like 90 five, suited? Yeah. Because you'll be uh, you actually, dominated more here, right? You actually don't call 90 suited, because when you have straight, it's the ace king had the upper straight. But I don't think it matters. It's going to convince me to fold 90 suited, I'll tell you that much. What happened here? Chess yeah. full, Bernie taking Oh, wow. Down. Bernie takes down with the worst hand. Well, if you're going to do that, then maybe you should defend the king queen suited, huh? I think Andy yeah. thinks that <laughs> Bernie has too many players there after cold calling and bad flop. I like how they, they just keep lying to each other. Bernie keeps saying that I was just sh I was going to shove pre. Andy said that I was going to call pre. Well, it's a game of misdirection. You know, you want to keep your opponents on their toes and try to mislead them so you can make some money. He's turning green. Oh, he's got a bet seven to this board. He has huge range advantage. If he does not play anywhere with the pair of ten and a back of flush draw, plus a pair of the queen. Let's see if Charles turn this hand to bluff. He's actually a pretty good hand to bluff with. No, it's not going to. Yeah, I mean, Charles is just going to beat enough of he's Peter's random play. hands here. <laughs> you just said, if you buff me, I'm going to call you. Five suited. Look, got a flat A shot in the small blind. If he did that flop middle pair, see if he puts in a bet for protection. Does. I think that's a problem when you flat ace shot off in the small blind. Um, on a lot of points. Yeah, I don't like it. You just fold yeah. or or put the raise yeah. in. It's um, not a hand that plays well out of position. I, I like to like a a flat ace queen in some spots, but like mm -hmm. ace jack, I'm like four betting or folding. I'm not, you know, oh, wow. let's say someone three bets. I'm not calling with ace jack very often. What about ace jack suited? It, yeah, I, I mean sure, but if you're gonna do it, I feel like. Especially if you're out of position, it's got to be against an opponent who you know you have a big edge on. You know they're going to get in there with some really bad hands. You know that you can beat them post flop, right? Yeah. Like if it's a really good player, they're tough, they're solid. Ace Shack's just not doing well. Ace Queen yeah. even isn't doing that well against the very tight players, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I prefer a three better full strategy in this small play. Especially with the stand up, people gotta defend hands that you could dominate, like King Jack, King Jack, Duban A Jack there is probably. Better. Zio, try to talk a little louder so these um, oh, okay. chat pros can hear you better. I'm sorry. Too mild mannered. First time doing this, I'm still learning, guys. Peter out flopping little fish here. I haven't seen Peter fold their hand in like, I would say, two orbits. Yeah, he's in the zone. Spatting this 7 4 protection. Little Fish does have to use a dime, I don't think that matters that <laughs> much. 
unless he has some plan to. He does. Got a call. See if he bluffs with a diamond in Lady Street. Then on my, he find a deuce. That's another plan. Let's go check, check. Wow, what a what a turn for little fish turning a set. I think this is a pretty good spot to to overbet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he has so many uh, nine ten, he has so many diamonds. I mean, yeah, he turned a set, but also just a perfect run out. Yeah. Goes for full yeah, pot. Yeah, that's okay. pot. I mean, Peter doesn't have much. It's, he still might call. I mean, little fish probably isn't. Betting pot with a jack, right? And yeah. so he either has a queen or better, or he has a missed draw, and you're not blocking any of the missed draws, so uh, I wouldn't be shocked if Peter calls here, right? He doesn't look like the guy that who likes to fold. You want to bet on it? If he's got a call full? Oh, I think it's actually pretty close. I think it's close. I'm going to say we call. We're going yeah, yeah, to yeah. call. There it is. There is the deuces, never loses. You think Peter's tilted now? He's got to be. He is having a rough night. He's made some really good moves, though, especially early on. But he just hasn't run so well the last couple hours. I think he played it fairly well. Yeah, you were saying that he seems a lot tougher than you thought he'd be. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what? This good voice. No. Uh, I don't even know what that means, Jay. What question? This? Yeah. He's saying just, just talk louder, talk more confidently. Project your voice, because they need to hear you over the over the table talk. And you gotta open an A7 off. You gotta keep pounding chips in. It's the only way you get unstuck. Two premiums, ace seven off, ace nine off. That's the only way you can get unstuck, putting more chips in. Peter did a quick spade check. Dust had none of that. See if Andy stop. He is going to. Interesting, two. Ace eyes with nothing battling here in this hand, and this would be a sick call down by Peter. But I don't know if he can. Yeah, there he makes the fold. Yes. Having, oh no. Having a seven space is pretty good. I mean, the the very <laughs> next hand below Peter's is what Andy had. Yes. One thousand more. Oh, Andy called it because he was the last two in the standoff. Did Nick lose again? Uh, let's see. I'm out for one round. All right, well, he's gonna, Airball's going to sit out this next round. That's, that's the Jay Bookie walk now. Yeah, I it guess, looks like I it came not. from that side, so I think it was. Yeah, it was. I think it was yeah, Airball right. Right, uh, yeah. Yeah. that paid it out there. He's got to take a Jay Bookie walk. I think it was. Yep, it was Airball. He lost that one. So that's two in a row, I think, for Airball that he lost the stand-ups, right? Yeah. Oh, someone's like, think they can hear me finally. Was I really? Yeah. They got to project. Oh, sorry. Little fish got to open the ace seven of clubs. Flop. Ooh. Two pairs. Where's one pair? Cooler. How if cooler. it wasn't all spades, it would be a little bit of a cooler. Go with a half pot size. We'll see that. Charles does not want to see a five here. Does not want to see an offsuit five. Close. Charles can find a full here. But that was wow, good, good, good full, full, Charles. He's locked in. Charles is winning. He is locked in. A little fish on a bit of an upswing, up to 200K now. Mm. 
And your birdie talk about a king queen hand and the ace queen one? Andy is having the time of his life. Birdie, they talk about a queen high flop, and you would have got it all. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. I, I know Chinese. I think so. I know a few words. Yi Chan Yi Bai. Toji. Yes. Uh, we got a nice in the small blind. Gotta bump it up to 3k. Peter loves the Jack Peter 5 Peter loves the... He, you know, he must be a Jackson 5 uh, fan. You know Jackson 5? No. You know what that is? No. Michael Jackson's band from when he was a kid? Him and his siblings, you don't know about them? That's Easy as plan. ABC? Jackson 5 is You don't know family? Jackson 5? No. Oh my god, we gotta put Zio on some Jackson 5. He doesn't know about... He doesn't know about the Jackson 5. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Tito, <laughs> Janet... You're 20 years of younger than you two. Yeah, I get it, but it's Jackson 5. It's a, it's a thing. This is the Jackson 5. Oh. This is Michael and his family. When they were kids. Oh, they're all Jackson. Yeah, they're, all, they're all siblings. Wow. It was Michael, Jackie, Tito, Marlon, Carol, they had Jermaine, Randy. And he's crushing today. He's having the covers of life. He's got to bump it up to King Jack suited. Flopping pretty dusty. Ooh, we got top pair versus top pair here. But he got a fire 5k. But the fish not going anywhere with top pair. That's the turn he's looking for. But he's not that happy. Check, check. Oh, wow. And it runs out. Wow. Four liner and clubs, and Brittany's going to take it down. Mike, I see you. We're letting the pole pan out. It's not over yet. It's not over till the fat lady sings, Mike. I see you, Mike. We're letting this thing ride. We're. We got 1% momentum here, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> What's the pool for? Uh, guess commentate? Mike, Mike wants that? to guess commentate, so we put a choice in the chat. Oh. Do you want, once a month, you can either have Mike X guess commentate. You could have a free money giveaway where 100 different chat pros, Mike X gives away $10,000 each once a month to you guys. Wow. That's a thing that he's offering. Or... Anybody in the world who comes down to Hustler once a month will get Wagyu and lobster and uh, champagne in 1942 on Mike X. He's going to cater to everybody that comes here once a month. So those are the three choices. Or he just gets to commentate once a month. You guys decide. We have another 30 minutes left in the poll, and then we'll, we'll end it. So you guys decide. I think I took the dinner. You can I mean, it's tough. I mean, it, on one hand, you get Mike to just commentate once a month in the 10 20 40 game. Like, that's a big deal. Or that's he gives, deal. he said he, instead, if, if, he, if you guys don't want that, he will give a uh, hundred different people $10,000 once a month. Or a, a lobster and wagyu and champagne in 1942 catered dinner once a month for anyone that comes out. So those are the choices. You guys decide. It's not up to me. It's up to you guys. We'll let the poll play out how we want. But either way, Mike's the one offering all these three things. But he only wants to do one of them. So you guys decide. So take a look at the Hustler Casino floor there. The game's going on tonight. Place getting full, a lot of action, the limit games, the PLO, the no limit. It's all going down here at Hustle Casino. I missed what they were saying. Something about boyfriend, girlfriend. Sorry.
Big flop here for Brittany. Or no, I'm sorry. I thought the eight was a club. Peter has eight of clubs. So Brittany with a gutter. Peter with middle pair. Olivia sweat her hands. Peter's going to raise. She's got a fold. Wow. Nice play by Peter. Oh, Zio, can you name any Jackson 5 songs? What's your favorite? Oh, sorry. Can you name any Michael Jackson song? Yes. Nate, what's your favorite Michael Jackson song? Beat it. What? Is it Beat it? All right, good job. All right, there you go. There you go. Uh, I can't name a few, I think. Oh, I can't. It's, what else you got? Nothing coming out of my head. Right Just now. Beat It? That was the one? Beat It. Beat It. <laughs> it's fucked. Let me think about something else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I can't think of any right now. All right. How many uh, Drake songs can you name? Oh. Lot. All of Me. The bot what, Started for the Bottom. So a lot more Drake songs. A lot Michael more Jackson Drake songs. Than Michael Jackson song, guys. <laughs> There it is. Huh? Oh. What about BTS? Can you name any BTS songs? No. I don't, I don't even know what that is. I know what that is, but I don't know them. All right, just check it. <laughs> Peter taking down with Ace Nine suited. Give that man another button. That's right, Thriller, Billy Jean. What is this? Yes, Pretty Young Thing. So many great Michael Jackson songs out there. Heal the World, that's a great one. How long has been Nick been gone for? I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's see. They want to bump it up to 248. Oh, wow. Nick's been gone for eight minutes, so not, not too bad, bad yet. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll be back in the next 10 minutes, hopefully. We got just under an hour left in the show. This player is thinking about putting on the 800 straddle for the last hour. Peter, Peter is complaining about Nick be, being gone too too long. Oh wow! Calling him out. Calling him out. Peter said like we're playing six-handed and he's been gone every, like too often. Come on, Airball, get back in there. There he is. He Come came on, back. Nick. He came right back. There, back he, there. he heard him. He's back. That's what he's telling him. <laughs> Nick said that he needs to go to smoke. Alright, check out this new promotion we got at Hustler Casino. You guys are going to be super excited about this. Here it is. We're announcing it now. Every last Monday of the month, every month, somebody's going to win a chance to play on Max Payne Monday. That's right. You just got to play on the floor here at Hustler Casino through a lucky table, lucky seat drawing. The more you play here, the more tickets you get to enter the drawing throughout the month. And then we have a drawing once a month. And somebody in a lucky table, in a lucky seat that day is going to win. Wow. $5,000 to play on the Hustler Casino live stream. So get down here, start playing Hustler Casino, learn more about it, ask the floor man. When you get here in the casino, we'll have more information on it. 
when that, that first drawing is for January, but if you haven't been to Hustle Casino, now's the time, because every month for the foreseeable future, we'll be giving away a $5,000 seat to one of you guys, any random person. It doesn't matter. It's not about being good at poker or winning a you know, hands or winning a tournament, anything like that. Like, no, you just got to play here at the casino, and you'll qualify, and you have a chance to win that free seat, $5,000 complete free roll. Just come play on the show. Win, lose, whatever it is, you got $5,000 to play those five hours. And uh, whatever you finish with, you take that home. <laughs> and that's it. That's giving you guys a chance. It's like the loose cannon. Is any stick? Like, is what? Uh, this is for, for 10, 20, 40, the Monday show. Max Payne Max oh, okay. Monday, which is like the best lineup of the week. Fourth out. Keep following along. Keep watching Hustler Casino Live. Keep... Coming down to Hustler and playing if you're in LA, and uh, we'll tell you more about it as yeah. we go on. King but the Queen. first giveaway will King be John. later John in Queen. January. Side we'll top. tell you more about it when we get back from break. <laughs> but stay tuned to our social media, stay tuned to our streams, and we want to stake one of you guys once a month to play on the show on Max Payne Monday. That's right, complete free roll, free money. You get to keep it. 10, 20, 40, Monday, Max Payne Monday. You get to play with Billy, <laughs> The Dream, DK, <laughs> Nate Hill, all of that. Tomorrow we're going to play for AK. He's out, he's out, he's out. Yeah. 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 Imagine getting a free seat to play with DK and Billy. $5,000. Absolutely amazing. Thanks to Hustler Casino for putting this promotion together. Sean Yapel, the GM, best GM in the business. Sean is the best. Clement said, what happens when they have more than one button? They get paid $1,000 per button. So, like, Peter has three buttons right now. That means whoever loses this round, as of now, would pay him $3,000. So it's pretty aggressive. You could win more than one. And whoever the last one is to win each round pays all of the total buttons on the table. And he just make, make it, makes it 6800 Either calls. That's we got flopping. back doors for Andy. Middle pair for Peter. King high board. Parties. David Holt said, "How do we win the, the free roll contest? Just, just stay tuned. We'll have more details as we go on. But uh, come down to Hustler Casino in January. You stay tuned to the Hustler <laughs> Casino uh, social media, to our social media, to the Hustler Casino live stream. We'll have more details as we go on to tell you how to do that. But it is happening starting in January." Look at this raise by Peter to 35000 He is a man who knows where he, he's at. And if Andy calls, Peter is going to know that he has to be careful, that he's going to slow down, try to realize his equity. So are you tilted? Andy asked, are you tilted? Peter said, I am tilted. He said, can you shove? I'm going to call. <laughs> what the hell is this? Go, sir, go, sir. Huh? Yanga Kasho, Yanga Kasho. And Jack. Do you think to get a Jack turn? Yeah, it's better than Jack turn, I think. <laughs> David Holtz asking, yes, you have to actually play at the Hustler Casino, so. It's for players that play on the floor here, and uh, if you play here, you will qualify. Details coming as to how you qualify and what day it is and who has the best chance to win and all of that, but you have to actually play here at Hustler Casino. Charles had an interesting spot. King can suit it. See if the side three got a full call. That's me the call. <laughs> Peter said, I'm playing every hand. I believe him. Okay. 
Charles flop in the best hand here with a 10. And that's a good card for Charles. Yeah. If you're asking who race free the hand. That's what a delay bet. Oh. Snap call from Charles. Pop it up. <laughs> Peter <laughs> coming with a wow. chat whistle. Wow, Peter getting gangster with the 6-7 off, making moves all night. Complete me. But I don't think this is the time to do it. I don't think Charles is folding this one. I think Peter has pretty good feel of the how how to read hands and stuff because they think he thinks that they all both check him back without they ever had a check there right exactly so he, he thinks but charles is capped here which he is yes but it doesn't mean charles is gonna fold exactly i think that's the problem here he oh he's my. going that's gonna work what a read by peter oh my God. this guy's the animal <laughs> Peter said that if we would call, I'm going to fire 100 k River, so you probably save money. Oh, Nick is waiting for the stand-up to be over. Oh, yeah, so Airball's back in there, but he has to wait for this round to end. <laughs> missed the blind. Nice shot by Neve there with the missed blind button that's in front of Airball. <laughs> Peter folded the jack fight off. Oh, he must be learning. Wow. He heard that you don't know what Jackson 5 is, and he, he spite folded. Let's find a king three off from Little Fish. Let's go check, check. Wouldn't it surprise me if Barrel the king three? Okay. Check, check. Let's go. Is that a street? That is a street for me. Wow, so little fish backs into a straight here. Let's go for it. Pass side. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's calling with oh, king high? King high. Well, Charles, what was that? Was doing oh, my. Right now. King oh, high. Charles, you're a maniac. Peter said they want to play 2K stand up tomorrow. That's huge. Wow, that would be sick. Let's do it. Let's do it. What do you guys think? 2K stand up? 248? That's Let's huge. up the stakes. It's the last game of the year. Why not? Let's do it. Nick Airball. That's a man who's even. Nick said 2K is too big. <laughs> Nick said he's too big. It might be too big. That's messed up. Nick Airball, you got to stay consistent, man. He once said, he's like, look. I'll play but stand for any amount. Yes. He said, I don't want to play for small amount because it's not worth it. I punt, no one else does. But like, <laughs> if you make it really big, like I'll play any amount, 5K, 10K, whatever you want. Now he's saying no to 2K and a 200, 400. Game that's only stop. five big blinds. You Nick, gotta, come on. Gotta stop calling him out. Airball, what the hell, man? You once said, not that long ago, that you'll play stand up for any amount. The bigger, the better. You don't want to play it for a small amount because you punt more than everyone else, but you're not punting more than everyone else. And they're offering to play bigger, and you're saying no. Come on, Airball. <coughs> Come on, Nick. Come on, put some respect on your own name. Yeah. Can't call yourself King of LA. Yeah, you can't be the King of LA. You you're the jester of LA. Of LA. <laughs> Come on, hairball, fitball. Charles got a barrel with a flush shot with a gutter. And you got to call the bottom pair. He gets there. See if Andy turns his hand to a ball. 
Seven. Fuck. He gives up. Charles takes it down. I can't believe you guys are picking guest commentate over the free money giveaway to the chat pros. He, he, Mike said he'd give away 10K to 100 different people every month. That's a lot of money. Think about it. 100 of you guys get 10K. And you guys are picking one guest commentary on a Thursday game instead? That's crazy. Last chance to vote. We're closing the poll in a few minutes. Get your vote in. Maybe you want the dinner. Maybe you want the money. Maybe you like Mike's voice. I don't know. You guys decide. The poll is in the chat. Last chance. We're ending the poll in a few minutes. I like Mike's voice. Oh, he's got a great voice. Don't get me wrong. Oh, great voice. But I also love Wagyu. Me too. And money's good too. You know, money's okay. But I love Mike's voice. Got a, he has the voice of an angel. His voice reminds Mike X's voice reminds me of if if Jesus and Fergie had a baby. <laughs> That's what Mike X's voice reminds me of. Peter loves these Broadway with a small car hand. The Queen seven off. Charles does flop top pair. Trips here for Charles, and, and that's a good looking board for him to get paid against Peter. Peter makes the call. Right, what I mean, does get there, but that's a full house with Charles. See what sizing is gonna go. 20 large. Oh, I, have, I have pot. You <laughs> <laughs> say you can't stop, you keep firing. Well, when you see his hand, you're gonna know why. Full house for Charles. I think he's calling. I think he's going to get away from this one. I think Peter's going to get away from it. He is locked in. Diamonds got there. Some straights got there. Find it, Peter. Find it. Peter said pocket aces. You can't bet. He's asking, did he raise pre? He's naming some hands that Charles could have. He's talking no, himself Peter. into it. Oh, oh no. Peter, that's so many less pumpkins you get to pick this month. Peter's she just said, like, I don't think you could bet when you had aces. So he decided it's super polarized. <laughs> yes. By the way, chat, the poll ended. It ended in a dead heat tie, 38% each between the free money giveaway and the guest commentary. So the only thing that would be fair is we have to do another poll in the future, a re-vote between just those two choices. We'll do it again sometime. If you see Mike X, guys, he's probably not here right now. Let Mike X know that everything was legit and authentic. The poll ended in a tie and a decision has not been made we're gonna have to do a revote later you have double gutter so you call flop no i flopped straight oh you ate six. Oh, oh god and he said that he would have had he would have flopped the nuts and he had six eight oh my god I think so <laughs> okay Alright, let's go. Three ways. Check, check. 
Ace queen for Peter. He's got this one locked down. Got a real hand. Peter said that I thought he was polarizing either he had a really good hand or a really bad hand. He was worried. Andy, oh. Andy, oh. say Andy is easy to play against. Check. And he has a cutter. And back to flush draw. Pretty decided to chat with these hands going so fast, I can't even keep it up. Pretty chat with the 74. Andy makes a call. Checks for it. And he got a five to turn. Eleven three. Not a double chat race. I haven't seen that for a while. <sighs> oh, Andy! Andy's adding on. <laughs> it's easy to beat. And then, yeah. let's try it. More we are friends, I'm going to go check, but if you bet, I'm going to race because I trips. Yeah, but not too. Sir, I'm not here, but not too. 44. 2044. Obama. Who doesn't like to fall? 4,000. Blind back? Blind. That's for Papa. Ah, same name. <笑>你打還不小開 同居的，同居的，你在乱讲，你这个屁的，不是说拍拍你们房间吗？你跟法西米同居的，我就乱讲，我也乱讲了。你房间不是都是都拍你们房间吗？拍Peter的房间，拍我们的有时。还有什么？
40 foul. Alt decided double bear with this one. in a tough spot. Peter can figure this out. Wow, what, what a play by Charles here. I mean, just a complete blind air ball bluff here. And <laughs> I mean, this is like the best hand for Peter to fold, like a top pair that just can't continue on the river. What a crazy play by Charles. Does get him to fall. What a play. Bluff. Bluff. It's a bluff. Life is bluff. 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 <laughs> Are you asking for this? Yeah? yeah. Almost. Chi Chi. I think I have two odds. Set out. Yeah. 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 Ice King. Ice ah. King or Black. Who do it? Either Ice King or Black. So we're coming down to the last 30 minutes of the show. It's been pretty swingy. Oh. Airball was down a lot, came back, got even. Now he's down small. Charles was up really big. Now up stuck a little bit. Just made some back from that last hand though. Andy, solid winner, two hand, two nights in a row. Check, check. Check. Uh, Peter with a pair. Five. Got it. <laughs> Brittany on a little bit of an upswing. She has been playing solid today. Opening it up with Ace Queen, but gets out flopped here by Charles. Just gonna rep the king. Charles calls. Seven. And Charles takes down a small pot. Oh, 
one. All the straddle, okay? Let's okay. do okay. two for okay. eight. Okay. Two till the end, okay? Mm -hmm. Straddles on to the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so they're going to add on the 800 straddle for the last 30 yeah. minutes or so. Charles, where is the best hand? Check. Got there. Nine. Nobody even oh, putting an effort yeah. into the small five thousand dollar pots. <laughs> Just realizing their equity. Uh, shot it. So we got the 800 mandatory now for the rest of the show and the optional 16. And we should have some big pots in this last 20 or 30 minutes. Let's see. We all knew he hit the nine on the river and he wasn't folding. I don't fold. We all know you hit the nine. You big queen? Huh? You big queen? It's high, it's high. <laughs> I'm best for value and uh, roof got river. You got value. I got value. That got value. So 1,600 straddles on, $5,000 open from Little Fish. It's a big game when you have a, an open of 5,000. queen. Wow. Brittany makes it 15, and Peter's got fives. fives. Wow. Peter's got a call here, right? Put in the cold call. I think all three options are on the table here. Okay. Yep, he makes the call. There you go. I mean, little fish, all three options are on the table here, too. I mean, if he just makes it 70K, what are these two players going to do, right? But I don't know if he's thinking about that. I know I would possibly do that sometime. You make it like 65,000 right here and just take down this money. <laughs> Especially with the stand-up game going. I think you'd definitely make it 60000 I mean, the, the automatic option here is going to be to just call, right? It's 10000 There's 36 in the middle. You're on the button. doesn't matter what you have, right? The, the second option is fold. You have ace-nine off. It's a bad hand against this action. What about the third option? But the third option, the next level option. The third option. Brittany makes a small three bet, right? Like, it's a lot of money. They have to go all in or fold, like... If they fold, you win 36000 oh, Yeah, but he goes for the call. Three ways. Or you just flop okay. top, top, and you're good. And it's no big deal. Peter is asking how much she has behind. Check. Check you. Twenty five thousand. Bang show. Bang show. Cut. Ha. 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 Peter asked how much you have behind. Don't push that. Not much. I mean, this is an interesting card because, you know, if Peter thought that he was good in the flop, then he's still going to be good on the turn. Wow. Jam that in. is a, a huge jam. Wow. So he's hoping that Peter has some sort of eight in his hand, right? Like a seven, eight, nine, eight. Nine, eight. Pocket eights. You just said, if I call, I 
my going dad. Crazy jam. A lot of money to put in there with that hand. If you get called, you are not happy. If you get called quickly, I should say. Lose his stand up again. Another loss in the stand up for air ball. I mean, outside of stand up game, he might be winning tonight, or he might be even, right? But with stand up, he's losing. He's probably down a good 30,000 in stand up. Bernie said that why didn't you just go all in? That would have just come. So a lot of A lot of All in. I wish I had ace king. Nut flush draw here for Peter, top pair for Andy. Charles would have turned trips here, but made the right fold in the flop. Peter fold. If if Peter fold, I'll raise you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Peter said enough flush draw. That's right. No fold. I know my seven is never good. And we have a three bet to 20,000 from Peter Charles with 92 to airball with ace queen. Wow, what does airball do here? I mean, I, I mean, with his image especially, I do not like a fold here. Oh, oh my no. god, airball. What's going on, Nick? You got to put the cold four in there. You got to do it. What's going on, Nick? You put the cold four and you win today. All right, Peter with complete air here. Charles with a gutter. And a bit of range advantage here, I think. Although, you never know what Peter could have. Although, Peter, there are checks. I mean, with Peter's hand, you, you think he's going to bet here, right? He's like, get the ace highs to fold, get the better king highs to fold. Yes. You can't really continue if Go for if, if you check and he bets. And now you're in a pickle if you're Peter. Or you well, can just <laughs> turn the nuts. Oh, I mean, not straight. Yeah, Charles has a big one now, and Peter does wisely check. I don't think you should go too big here if you're Charles, though. 
I guess it's okay. I mean, protect in case Peter has a spade. Yeah, how about that? Shouldn't. Peter said one collar. <laughs> About 20 minutes left in the show. Charles up 205,000. He's the big winner now. Andy and Brittany both up over 100. Peter down almost $400,000 now. Incredible. And Little Fish now winning after being stuck early. <laughs> Peter up to 66% VIP. As you said earlier, he's playing a lot of hands lately. Everyone else playing less hands. They're down to under 50%. Peter playing more hands. Trying to force the action. Peter asking if I would have... Peter saying I should have bet the flop bigger. Bet 40k. Beautiful. Huh? He's How lying if no, <laughs> I say no. Now. Okay. Is that, no, I don't think so. Is that I, I had an so. overpair. No, 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 no. Oh, Peter trying to claim he had an overpair? Yes. So, 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 overpair made him a chunk. He does an overpair right now. Look at this, overpair versus overpair. Peter with kings. He's been waiting for this moment. A little fish with sevens. We want to stop Peter from firing. I mean, it's got to be frustrating for Peter if Little Fish lays this down. It's just like he finally makes a big hand. He's been struggling. He's playing a lot of hands, and he can't even win a big pot here. I is asking why do you raise seven? So you raise flop? They did it. Airball with King Jack suited here. All right, he finally puts the four bet in. He finally his queen, find one. But he found a spot. Uh, but Peter's probably not going to fold this not one. Folding the six three suited. He's got to get in there in position. Oh man, brutal flop for Airball. I don't even know what to do here if you're airball. The shuffle, probably. Yeah. I mean, Peter's just going to make it big. Yeah. And <laughs> nothing that airball can do. Wow. Oh, yeah. so, so <laughs> Natural for Peter. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to uh, my favorite group of DGENs. Jay Dilly, Angry Piranha, Gorilla, Quagmire, DC Lawyer. Shout out to all of you guys watching the show tonight. <laughs> he walked away. He walked away. Never overplay. Air 
ball. Queen Jack suited. Pocket tens for Little tens. Fish. You got to put the three bet in here. It does. And we got a three bet pot here. There could be some fun flops between these two hands. Airball needs this one to breathe. Oh, there it is. That's a good looking flop for Airball. Top pair with the backdoor flush draw. Little Fish going to continue. I don't blame him. A snap call from Airball. That's a great turn for Airball. <laughs> oh, he checks it back. Interesting. I, I like a bet there, a small bet, and then size up in the river. But he, he decides to check it back, and um, he definitely should size up in the river for sure now. What is that, 30? 25. It's not real big. This should be... This should be an easy call. Like, Airball might even value bet nines or eights here for that size. <laughs> He's like, are you tilted? And Little Fish doesn't have a diamond, so he doesn't block the missed diamond. I, I think this is an easy call for Little Fish. It's just a spot you kind of have to pay off here, unless you just think Airball's never bluffing here. Uh, Dick said, I'm getting annoyed. You keep. Betting against me. So he's just trying to level him into calling, and he does. Wins a 90k pot. <laughs> he said, I'm not tilted. I top pair. No fish. I'm tilted now. What's hot? What's Peter said, Nick said, Peter, you don't even give me a chance to bluff. Every time I check, you just got to bet. I, I don't even have a chance to bluff. And you pick up ace queen here. As a reminder, we'll be back tomorrow. Same time, 5 p.m. Pacific. The game will get even bigger probably tomorrow, at least the same size. 200, 400 to start. 50K min buy in. The last day of the week, last day of the year for Hustler Casino Live. We'll be off next week. So you don't want to miss it. Our special high stakes Friday show. Same crew, plus we throw in Yoda, if you remember Yoda. He'll be in the mix as well, seven-handed. The action should be insane tomorrow. Make sure you tune in. <laughs> Super high stakes, 200, 400. Got him over a million and a half on the table today. Tomorrow should be pretty similar, if not bigger. Three bet from Peter here with 10-7 suited. Andy with ace-queen. Does he call? Does he four bet? He's been... Decided to he, call. He's been happily playing out of position against Peter all day. He's been comfortable there. He's going to do it again here. And, uh, well, Peter outflopped him. But if he goes small enough, Andy should be continuing. Yeah, this is a big size, so you know, Andy could fold, but he does not. He just quickly calls. So we have an over 100K pot already. I would be surprised if Peter bets again. But if he does, it's going to end the hand. Yeah, he checks. Oh, the nuts for Andy. Andy. Wow, that's why you peel the gutter. You never know when it's going to come. Problem is, when when, it, when Peter checks back, he doesn't have a king. Wow. And, uh, and he's going to try to trap and check, and it doesn't work. 
Andy maybe could have got paid with like a really small bet, but I don't think any sizable bet's getting paid by a 10. And uh, that's how Peter's been running all night, just not his night. Can't make a hand when he has the best hand, he gets sucked out on. He's been making some great moves at the right time. And honestly, most of his moves have been the right move at the right time, but he's just getting in there with the worst hands a lot of the time. And, you know, or. Honestly, he's not playing bad. He's just in there with a lot of hands and not running well. Meanwhile, Andy's made a set 12 times. He made the nuts there. I mean. Airball had the nuts when Peter had a pair and a flush draw. When Peter had a big hand or had kings, nobody had a hand to pay him off with. Sometimes it's like that in poker. We share, we share. Okay, we share? Okay. So Little Fish and Brittany don't have a button. Queens for Peter. Queens for Peter. Three I'm going to do one more round or just... Uh... Just normal. I have to leave right at 9.15. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Give me some more. We have 10 minutes left. This is a dribble. We have to play. No game. Five people can play. Do you have any fish? No. You can't see it. You can't see it. You can't see it. It's over. You can't see it. You can't see it. It's over. 再打一会儿。我不能，我老婆在家里骂我，因为现在圣诞节。再吃一个老婆。美美美国人必须在家里。不能不能。Nick said I had to go home because it's Christmas. 一二三。Little fish said just get a new wife. 来看看，超哥还给你。超哥打的一模一样，无所谓，有与没有没有。My bad. See, those are the things that we wouldn't know if Zio wasn't here. Looks like. Oh, Mike X is back in. Mike, let the chat pros uh, let you know what the results of the poll were. They were. I don't know if you're here, but they were here when the poll ended, so they'll tell you which choice won. Just ask the chat. Not right now, but maybe when we get there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. Peter said, Nick, are you stuck? Nick said, yes. And then Nick said, why are you happy that I'm stuck? Peter said, no fun that someone's stuck in me. He said, what did Peter say? <laughs> why, like, Peter said that it, it's fun that, like, someone's stuck with me. Like, oh, someone's losing us. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. Did Peter three bet the four deuce for Kobe? Well, top pair for Andy. Yeah, we got the new value cut. Mm 
Just keep playing with me. Just keep playing with us. Eventually you will. I hope you fish, 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 fish. Let it go, Peter. Let it go. But you're a bigger fish. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> well, here is a flush show mess. We give up for many and he's bluffing me. So every month we give up like yeah. five, At least once a month I retire. Yeah. And Astro, one time? Decided to fall. We play Wednesday, Thursday. I say I retire from PLO. I say no more PLO ever again. Friday I go to Vegas, there's PLO game I play. Jinda! Who should pay for Whose game you play? Eric's game? Yeah, Burger's game. Did you know this game? I play once. So the story is? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a Vietnamese guy. It's quite a little Vietnamese ten. guy. Ten. 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 No, 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 no. Maybe you're ten, saying yeah, Kong. No, two. ten, ten, ten. I, 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 I think we're talking about ten. Oh, is it that, ten that we know? That Vietnamese is a little bit stronger, strong and white. Or the short and the black. Hey, he's name is No, no, the two tens. Oh, yes. oh yeah, there's two tens. Two tens. When did you, did you play? When did you play? Um, two years ago. Okay, yeah, other ten for sure. Other ten, ten. yeah, he he ten. The, the one that yeah, we yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Charles. Ten, other who ten. played Not in the no. yeah, one of the I'm first saying, big PLO games we did yeah, yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Duan. Show you how to show. Show you how to show. We have one day left. 我赢，我赢多少场就一场都不够。赢了四场，今天一场都不够。我三场得到都输。赢了四场。And we're coming down to the end. Remember to tune in tomorrow for another edition of Super High Stakes Action. 200-450k min. This crew plus Yoda will be seven-handed. It's either going to be Tuckman or Raver commentating tomorrow. Probably Raver. And that'll be our last show of 2023. We'll be off next week. We'll be back January 2nd with new shows, the new and hopefully improved version of Hustle Casino Live next year. We got some ideas in the works, Nick and myself and High Stakes Poker Productions, and we're excited about the future. This is only the beginning. Tomorrow will be the last show of 2023. Make sure you tune in. It's going to be a fun one. Nut flush draw here for air ball. And top pair. Let's go check race. Wow, top pair for, look at this. So check race from Peter, middle pair. He's got the worst hand. Air ball has nut flush draw. He can't fold. He's going to call. Little fish with top pair. He's caught in the middle. All right, we got some freeway action here. That's another six for Peter. Wow, so Peter check raises the flop and just drills, trips. I mean, he was in such rough shape on the flop against a nut flush draw and King Jack, and he has Jack six. Small size. Nick yeah, I don't think you can go too big here on a paired board. I actually like this size. Nick lets it go. And now a little fish in a rough spot. Still continue top pair. One of the flush draws comes in, not ideal for Peter. So I don't think he can go too big here. I think he can go like 20K or something. Gotta be less than 30. Or it's gonna get be hard to get called by worse. Uh, might be so too big. 30? Uh, yeah, 35. Uh, oh, he's calling it. It's like, do you have a six? <laughs> Peter's at eight, nine. Real face that I don't that anyway. And I have a king. New you okay? Peter. Oh yeah, I should fold it. I should fold it. I don't want to give you 35. 35. Yeah, I can't fold. 
He does pay it off. Wow, and there it is. Peter gets paid. Again, mentioned it way earlier. Eventually he's going to get paid in a good spot because of his image of luffing so much, and it paid off there. <laughs> nice hand for Peter winning a six-figure pot. You have to fold. Very fortunate turn card. Yeah. There he is. Smashing out. Huh? It's probably going to be our last hand. Okay, Right, so a few more hands. Maybe three more, it sounded like. And he's talking about last time he played, the whole table break. Was he got there? Okay, they're not playing stand up anymore. <laughs> he folded his <laughs> <in> his <stomach. laughs> All right, so that's going to end it. That was the last hand, and you look at the final chip count to Andy ending with over 500k. Two straight good sessions for Andy Stacks. Peter leading the way by far in VPIP. And Peter was the most aggressive as well, but Andy up there. And here are the winnings. Charles the big winner up 206,000. Andy up 172,000. Two big winners. Brittany up almost 100,000 as well. Nice night for her. Airball gets back pretty close to even. And Peter down about $350,000. That's going to end it. Zio, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you, guys. You have a good time? It was fun. Thanks for joining us here on Hustler Casino Live. For Zio, I'm Ryan Feldman. We'll be back tomorrow with another big game. Thanks for watching.